Welcome back, and um, time for another edition of Nights. I'm joining us tonight, Gary. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How many little dragons you had? I had some of that stuff he had last week. Shh. Remember them bags of stuff he had? I got a kilo of it. <laughs> what, filling bags, or? I mean, he's had too many. Anyway, have a beautiful crazy lady, are you? Old. <laughs> Speaking of old, um, last night we, oh sorry, on Monday night we went and celebrated our son's 21st. Yes. So, uh, our oldest son there, Braden, happy birthday, buddy. Um, happy birthday, mate. Yeah. Bit belated, into, but happy birthday. Turned into a uh, fine young man. He's a legal drinking age in America now. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. yeah. Turned into a good young man and uh, father. So, uh, good on you, mate. We're proud of you and uh, happy birthday, mate. Um, had a good role model growing up, I suppose. Huh? You? Yeah, thanks. No. Uh, that's <laughs> not, doing, not you. No, no, I knew you were still His mother's done a good job from day one, so um, credit to Kylie. Um, yeah, good job, bud. And Big Daddy. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> give yourself a bit of credit. Anyway, also joining us tonight, we have... Um, Victor. I reckon you get a new name, oh. as will come up later. But Is this a name every week? Carletta. Carletta. <laughs> As you'll see later. Carlotta. Carlotta, yeah. Carlotta. yeah. yeah. As you'll see later, Carlotta. Carl Victor. Carl Victor. As you'll find out later. I wouldn't be cutting her grass or his grass. Oh, anyway. Mrs. Victor Carlotta. Um, Welcome. Time for the NRL News. <laughs> The Roosters have re-signed Junior Ponga until the end of 2027. Hmm. Hmm. Guys are up. <laughs> yes. Was that it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, full stop. That's it. That's the news. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, all right, moving on. Uh. <laughs> the Tigers are reportedly set to release Jaden Sullivan at the end of this season so he can take up a deal in the Super League. The Tigers will continue to pay a portion of his contract that expires at the end of 2027. Jaden says he will not walk away from his Tigers deal and plans to fight for the right to partner Jerome Lua in the halves next season. I don't plan on going any anytime soon. I'm a West Tiger for the next four years, he declared. Gonna fight. Mm. Four years. That's going to be an interest. If you don't want to go and the club wants to go, what do they do? Mm. Mm. Wasn't the CEO over there shopping them about the other Brett week? Brett Naden will be gone mm. end of this season. So is John Bateman too. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know why Bateman. Mm. Mm. Well, Bateman, they worked fought so hard to get over here, and now they got him. They don't. I know. I actually think Bateman sort of probably brought a, a bit to the team, mm. unless they got something up their sleeve that, that we don't know about. Um, and I mean, they're losing Papa Lady. Mm, but they're just off, also just off the, offloaded Jake Simpkin to Manly. Yeah, he's a French player, but as long as they're not going to try throwing all their money at um, Stefano and that. Well, I think that. I think that might be the next thing. Yeah, Give but it. you can't throw... When a club's going to learn, you can't throw all your money at one player. Mm. Newcastle? Even Penrith to a certain extent because they're losing everyone. I mean, I get you got players like Cleary that are worth a, a lot, but you're losing others as well. It's not affecting us, though. No, but... Yet, it will. <laughs> but the thing is, look at the talent you've Down lost. The track, yeah. And it's yeah. bringing the other club. And it hurts. Players. To be honest, I... I you lose some good players. It hurts. Like, in, you know, I, I feel sorry for Penrith. The, what they've gone through over these years and the players they've lost. It's you good. feel sorry for them for winning a three-beat? No, no, because <laughs> they've bought these players to be who they are. Exactly. exactly. That's the that's the price you pay when you keep that's winning. That's right. So this is when I start running the NRL. It may be a bit, a bit late for Penrith, but you get a nursery incentive 
payment where you can have so many players or you get a discount for <laughs> Lou I and Co that have come through the ranks from juniors all the way through. You get stuck, stuck on the club. Yeah. Some kind of discount. Does this go to Phil Gould for his five year plan? No, 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 no. Moving <laughs> <laughs> on. Trent Robinson admits Daniel Tupu, Tupu's future is set to be decided within the next couple of weeks. We've definitely had some discussions. We're making sure we guide him in the right way, whether it's here or overseas, he said. Discussions? I was wondering what you were doing then. The <laughs> I thought you were asking me to come faster. <laughs> <laughs> come on, the clues then. Oh, well, no. <laughs> no, under the table, bags under the table. I thought you were, yeah... I was. I'm not good at charades. <laughs> I thought he you shot wish. Shite. <laughs> I said I wasn't good. No, no. You wish I was telling you to come close. Oh right. Oh. <laughs> Manly have reportedly opened negotiations to extend Taniela Paseka until the end of 2028. Hmm. The Panthers are reportedly in talks with Dane Laurie's management and want to extend his contract beyond this season. Okay. Yeah, he played good the other week. Had some. Pretty high, smash the stats, but I'd be interesting to see what they're going to pay for him. That's just my opinion. I don't think he's worth the hype that some people have put around him. Yeah, but under Cleary, things could change. I just don't think he's worth a lot of money. Just quickly, he didn't play on the weekend, didn't he? No. So why wasn't he playing in South Wales Cup? He was. He was. Oh no, he he was on the bench. He, uh, didn't he play for a couple of minutes? No, I don't, he, I don't, um, he didn't get long. Okay, yeah, mm. he didn't get long. But yeah, for some reason, he was. You know that fringe reserve yep. says. Right? The Dragons are reportedly set to re-sign Ben Hunt for an additional season, tying him to the club until at least the end of twenty twenty six. So is that uh, another season to see how the club goes, and then he'll decide his full future from Possibly. there? Possibly. I don't like one year deals, to be honest. I minimum two year deals because I've damping a lot could change in a year. Two years is a different story. Mm. That's what might be. Mm. One with a one opener. Yeah, well, one. Well, that's another. He is getting you damped too. So whether or not that's the reason why, I yeah, don't know. But then you get a club like the Broncos that probably offer him a three year contract. Yeah, because Adam Reynolds will probably be gone in next after next year. Yeah, well, true. That's. We always got one here mm. to go back to the Broncos after that. Mm. Yep, could be a yep. It's and a real three sixty. Go around. Back to where he started from. The Storm have officially signed Atavalu Lasati on an immediate move until the end of twenty twenty five. Nice, nice pronunciation. Mate, you are really improved <laughs> with your. I thought you were stoked at the player. No, no, the pronunciation. Mm. I don't even know that that's how it's... Sounds good. <laughs> Sound all right to me. It's the glasses. They make me look smarter and sound smarter. <laughs> no, but I, you've definitely improved on the... Uh, you. <laughs> you've definitely improved on getting the uh, the names out. <laughs> I can actually <laughs> see them You now. have, you have. Yeah, we'll be practicing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, you don't have to rely on me uh, anymore uh, you. for that one. I probably do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some. Some, yeah. Taylor and May's legal team met with the Panthers last week to make their case on why he should not be sacked. It's reported they pointed out he's recently started doing charity work as one of their reasons. The Panthers say they will assess his submission and make their decision in the next two to three weeks. 100%. Couldn't agree more. They should not be sacking him. He's they, just started doing charity no, work. No, but the thing is, why they want to sack him is before the contract was signed. Apparently, that anyway. Oh, no. I'm probably going to get on the lounge for this, but um, no jokes. Um, I just think they should stick by him until what it's proven mm. if he's guilty or not. Mm. If he's guilty, rip it up. I think yeah. we miss him on that wing. Oh, mm. Mate, told you, he's a gun. Mm. I mean, he is an absolute superstar. He would have stopped Bradman Best on the weekend. I wouldn't go that far. I don't. I would. No, he would have mm. Would have been a good chance. Why, to what I look at. Is why does he start doing charity work now? Yes, mm. that's one point. It's oh, I'm doing charity work now. That I'm a good boy. Yeah. But the thing is, mm. but like you said, guilty to prove um, innocent to proven proven guilty. proven guilty. Mm. If he's guilty, rip. I'm sorry, rip everything up. See you later. There's no room for it. Yep. There's no room for it in the game. There's no room for it in society. Mm. Exactly. If he can be found uh, innocent, resume the play. Yeah. Well, um, back. but on conditions. Penrith should probably have to send him to counselling, and 
you know, relationship or marriage counseling or whatever this the whole debacle is about and help it. Rather than just ripping it up and throwing the kid under the bus, like mm. and deal with the problem. And I'll get in and deal with the problem. Okay. We're going to educate you to become a better pe- parent or a better husband or better whatever. Rather than just walking away and mm. doing the wrong thing, educate him. Mm. Actions. So fix the problem. Actions speak louder than words there. So. Yeah. And if he's proven not guilty, but, you know, you can still say that there was something there, educate him to become a better person. Exactly. Don't just throw him out there to dry. That's another way for me to install the Smitter Foundation, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. the, yeah, the programs that will work. Exactly. Rather than just doing, you know, things that, you know, like cultures or this and whatever. These are things that some players do have issues with, and let's educate them and become a better person. You, you'd be one hell of a boss if you ran the NRL. Oh, are you on a job? Mm-hmm. You want to carry your bags for you? Mm-hmm. Isn't it near Oxford Street? NRL headquarters? Don't know. That's what you want to do. Carlotto Moving on. Suit bag, suitcase. <laughs> Scans have cleared Jacob Preston of a fracture in his ankle. They did reveal soft tissue damage and he is expected to miss the next two to four weeks. Ooh, I thought it would have been a bit more. That's pretty mm. ordinary. Mm. Um, but better news. Mm. Yeah. But it's only that many. Yeah, he's a good player. This one hurts. The Eels admit Jermaine Hopgood probably should not have played the last round due to a nerve injury in his back. Could mm. be out for his origin too. Mm. He is. Yeah. So he I should be. Him. When it's your back, yeah. you need to be really right. careful. Yeah. Was it, how long ago was it? I said, what, she's scared he's going to be good? Mm. Mm. And now look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's no good now. No, but. Mm. You put the hooks on him. No, yeah. yeah he's a top player, one of our oh. best. Mm. One of uh, our best. Mm. Well, there was another one too that come to the Knights was only young. I said, what, this, this play is going to be gone. Leo uh, Thompson. Mm. Maybe I should become a scout too. Well, Fletcher Sharp's only going to get better. Jeez, mm. he can ho- he can motor, can't he? Mm. He used to be a scout, then you guess. What scouts were doing? They breed them well in Cessnock. What scouts? No, no. They come from Cessnock. They do. <laughs> the Raiders have officially re-signed Trey Mooney until the end of 2027. I'm happy to extend my time here. This is a family club and something I want to be a part of going forward, he said. Can agree. Um, if you go to play that, that feels that about your club. That's how many you want. Your club. Well, got some talent too. That Trey Mooney. I've seen mm. a little mm. bit of his game. Mm. The Roosters have established a development academy, and the in LA Roosters side in the USA. They are also set to sponsor and sponsor the U- USA Hawks men's and women's international sides. Is there anything they can't do? <laughs> they got their finger in the pie. Now we're trying to get the best players from over there now. Mm. You know, I still think he's a goose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I just think it's it's they're obviously rotting the system, and then I'll just let them get away with it. It's hurting the poor clubs that are, you know, how do you compete? Mm. Not for long. I'll snip that in the butt too. Snip it in the butt. He'll give them white paper bags instead of brown ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just see me brother Brandon. <laughs> the Titans have signed Wallabies Carter Gordon on a two-year deal until the end of 2026. Never heard of him. Who? Carter Gordon. Never heard of him. Might be a uh, relation to Michael. He'd mm. end up playing on that, didn't he? Mm. Mm, maybe not. The Broncos are set to open negotiations with um, Selwyn Cobbo's management for a contract that will make him a Bronco for life. I like to see things like that, to be honest. Um, you know, I wish and thought, I always thought, I'm sorry to bring this up, but I thought, um, James Fisher Harris would have been a Panther for life. And I just, I get he's going home for personal reasons, but it would have been good to see play, play a play like that. That's another one that's come through the system, be it that one club, one team. Um, and this is where the NRL need to do some kind of a, a system where they come through the nursery shop like to stop t- to to make that happen because at the end of the day look it's a lot of t- a lot of the clubs there's you know there's only a handful of clubs that can really compete with each other the rest of them are they're going to struggle with the money yep mm. 
Anyway. The Dragons are set to offer Tom Eisenhuth a contract extension. He's currently off contract at the end of this season. Becoming a fan favourite at um, Dragons territory. Is he related to Tom? Um, yeah, they. I think they're related. They're cousins. Matt. And, and yeah. also the cousin of Paul Gallen. Oh, Eisenhuth, okay. Eisenhuth yes. Oh, uh, no. Because mm. um, Eisenhuth, uh, Matt, that plays for Penrith, yeah. very unsung hero, I feel. Mm. Uh, Fish goes on rep duties or injured or Moses Liotti comes in all the time. And They're both in the same mould. Nothing flashy, but they just get the job done. Mm. Yeah. Next. Yes. The Dragons are reportedly interested in signing Damien Cook for the 2025 and 2026 seasons. They are currently in negotiations with the Rabbitohs to continue paying a portion of his salary next season. And a player swap for DeBellin? Yes. Yeah, I find that a good move by uh, the Dragons, to be honest, because I don't rate DeBellin at the moment. I think his best football is behind him. Um, Damien Cook could be the answer for what they need, and you could even put for the, what's his name, Brown at, at a 14. Mm. Um, or he could be like the master and apprentice. The thing is, though, you don't want three hookers in the same side, though. No, like, who's the other hooker? Liddell. Yeah. Might time to let him go. Might he's, him go. He's been playing right one for us, though. Yeah. Um, mm. or, yeah, or do you move one of them to, like, a ball-playing lock? Mm. A Brown? Brown could probably fit that role. Right? Probably. Interesting to see how it fits. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. The Roosters are reportedly planning to offer Brandon Smith to rival clubs at the end of this season. It's also reported they are willing to pay a significant portion of his salary also and are looking to sign Damien Cook from 2025 onwards. I don't get that. The Roosters are looking to sign everybody. But I don't get that. Why would you let Brandon Smith go to get Damien Cook? Mm. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like Damien Cook, great play. So is Brandon Smith. The one on towards the end of his career, one's still relatively early. Well, mm. There was rumours going around about a player who was borrowing money because they had a gambling problem. Mm. There's something behind the scenes why they're getting rid of him. Mm. That's not his playing ability because he's a damn good player. Mm. And actually, I like him. I think he's hilarious. Yeah, mm. He's funny. Um, there's something behind the scenes. He's, he's a good solid player when he mm. gets from dummy half and takes off. There's, once again, it's only speculation, but the whole bag dinner plate scenario after this come out, now they're trying to get rid of him. Is he Mr. Scapegoat? Yeah. Go to Parramatta, he'd be looking for a hooker. Mm. We'll take him. Mm. Yeah. Zach Lomax, mate, yeah. we're starting to... I mean, like, you've only got, what's his name? Is it Hands? Yeah. Hands and... Solo. Uh, yeah, and Feet. And Solo. Yeah. And Lussex. Lussex, yeah. Well, he could be... Hands, hands He could be quite well. a good experience there. Mm. Hands... Solid. Peter Volandi says it's ridiculous. Fans expect a different level of leniency in origin. What do people expect? A free-for-all in state of origin? No, it's not going to be, he said. Uh, Let it open up. Oh, mate. <laughs> Just watch your head there on the mic again. Oh, no, I wanted to bash it. <laughs> Does this... Has this bloke been watching rugby league for the last... Rugby league. Rugby league for the last league. years or... Yeah. Origin always has been a little bit more lenient. There's there's club and then there's origin. It's a different level. That's right. It's a totally different game. The bloke, I'm sorry, he's done a good job, but it's time to... Uh, Pull his head in. No, go. Mm. Well, that comment in itself speaks for itself. Origin, you... you, you oh, mate. It's the best of the best <laughs> of players, you know. Like... Come on, we've got the Muppets run on the show. Let it open up, let them play. All he's too worried about is Vegas. Yeah. Yes, I guess it's a business, but Origins is one of the, the spectacle of rugby league for the year. It puts bums on seats. Like, it's like the Super Bowl of, yep. you know, excuse me, and people want to see a good, fierce, physical game. If not, no one's going to go. That's right. Anyway. Not, not lose a tag or yeah. whatever. Yeah, he's, yeah. Man, Manly have reportedly re-signed Nathan Brown for a further two seasons. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think he's come back into probably the best form he's played for a long time, personally. He played one good year for Parra and then done nothing after that. Mm. We let him go and he sparks up again. Mm -hmm. whole point where I say, you know, some clubs, he needs to yeah. go and change. Mm. 
Anyone? The Dolphins have reportedly re-signed Jack Bostock on an extension until the end of 2027. He's been mm -hmm. playing well. Mm -hmm. Former Dragons junior. Disappointed he left. Because he was one of our better ones. I bet he's not. <laughs> <laughs> you might never know. <laughs> Stefano Utakamanu's management have been have told the Tigers they wish to put all contract talks with the club on hold. It appears he almost certainly headed to the open market. He'll go to the open market. Even if he doesn't plan on leaving the Tigers, he'll head to the open market. You know what? See what he can get. To boost his, his money up for the Tigers. Hmm. The Warriors have officially re-signed Mitch Barnett on an extension until the end of 2027. I was hoping one day we'd see him back at red and blue, but you know what? Good luck to him. I think Mitch Barnett belongs at the Warriors. As hard as it is to say it, because I, you know, I'm, I'm a big Barney fan. Um, just some players go to a club and they just okay. They shine. Uh, the former, what's his name? Para, uh, Penrith player and Broncos player. It's now uh, Kurt Capewell. I don't think he looks. At home at the Warriors, mm. um, where Barney does. Some players just fit like a glove, and I think Barney. That's this as as hard as this when we say it. I think it was the right call for Barney to leave Newcastle. He's just become a better player. Mm. Um, so, so when the Warriors win their first ever competition, he'll be there. Barney. Mm. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And you know, I couldn't be happy for the bloke. He's yeah. Yeah, I just think he he deserves. He should finish his career there. That's my opinion. Unfortunately, I'd love to see him back at red and blue, but I think Warriors is his home. Mm. Toa Samoa have announced a two-game series against England at Wigan on the twenty seventh of October and Leeds on November two. Good. I like I like watching all that. Well, yeah, mm. I really enjoy it. We went and seen the. Tongan and Samoan team in Queensland last year. KO Stadium. Mm. It was pretty good. And uh, John Obawada was there. Um, Frizz. Uh, the Penrith boys. Mm. Uh, Luai. Lenu. Crichton. Mm -hmm. um, and funny that I had my podcast shirt on and uh, Greggy Maggi walking past all of a sudden. Look at Asa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, a yeah. he's a good fella. The federal and state government have announced a joint forty million dollar in funding to revamp the Leichhardt Oval. Um, my government understands the important role suburban grounds play in the quality of life for Australians," said Anthony Albanese. <laughs> Just another one of those muppets, you know. Okay, here you go. He's given forty million to Leichhardt, an Australian ground something that's going to improve the australian economy um you know everything in australia yep but it will give 600 million, million to another country <laughs> for their footy ground don't open up a can of worms there because i could say so much about that we, about haven't, got, we haven't got time yeah well i've just opened the can just about the whole throwing this money around like it's monopoly money but what about the people that are homeless what about the elderly oh, what about yeah. the elderly that are living that's off right. a stupid little pension that they've worked Can't all their life and yeah. this is not, that's a disgrace i'm telling you i know I, I muck around and say i should run the nrl but makes I'm, me sick i'm seriously i would love to run for parliament i even if it's just the local member and get me foot in the door because the way the australian elderly are treated mm. is disgusting Mm. Absolute disgusting. And we care, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so can't even get a seniors card that's gonna get reduced. No, no, it's that's bullshit, but no, no, I don't care what people think or have a laugh about. But you got this knob jockey that's throwing away money. Exactly. You know, and we're not looking after Mm. The reason why we are here we are because all these pensioners have contributed to society for all those years. Now they're getting thrown out the dry. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, there's an election next year. You better start campaigning. Well, get me, get me, find me out how I run for my, member of Maitland. I'll do it. I'm telling you, I'll do the bastard. Because if I can improve the life of, yeah, I'll do it. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> I need a drink. 
Ricky Stewart admits he is unhappy with officiating in his side's loss. When Danny Levi gets penalised for being offside, it would have been half a foot offside, he added as an example. Yeah, but half a foot, he's still off still. the line. But I get what he's saying when you get other ones and you can see they're clearly offside and the rest is looking at them. Yeah. Well, we'll go back to the Roosters. Um, I'm telling you, watch the Roosters this week. Do they play? Or are they going to buy? No, they're playing the Bulldogs. You watch, okay, when Luke Curry does the dropout. That's your homework. And tell me if this is a dropout or this is blatant... Offside. Cheating. It is. He steps over the line, turns back towards the goal and kicks it that way. The ball has to be behind the line and so do you. Mm. The rest of them get away with it. <clears throat> I have people that handle that sort of stuff. There is no need for me to comment on it. All that stuff is taken care of by other people so I can worry about footy and being the best I can for the club. Yeah, I'm committed. Definitely committed. Caelan Ponga on his future admits night's rumours. You're not going anywhere. Put it this way. You're on $1.4 million a year. You're the king in Newcastle. You're the club captain. Why would you want to go anywhere else? Gets injured, sits on the sideline, still gets 1.4 mil. Mm. Why would you want to go anywhere else? His mum works at the night shop. You know, she's looked after too. Why would you want to go anywhere else? 100%. I don't get you go, yeah, but he wants to put a premiership. Yeah, he might. But he might be on this kind of luxuries at any other club. Realistically, there's... He will be at the Roosters. <laughs> no. Mutual. Too many brand bag But bags. the thing is, he won't be... Carlin Palmer walks down the street in Newcastle. He's the king in Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah, well, you stopped the car in the middle of the road and then you told Porsche to yell out to him. <laughs> oh, look, Porsche, there's Ponga. Call out to him. I'm down like this. I did. Oh, my God. Leave the bugger alone. Down the crockle, bud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor buggers minding their own business. <laughs> they you know, I so had this big sticker across the back window, though. Oh, it's good. But, you know, that's the type of thing they'll get around here. And, you know, some players love it, some players don't. But. It's like Cleary and Penrith. He's the king of Penrith. Yep. Prince. Prince. Albert. Middle. Yeah. Kevin Walters <laughs> believes Jordan Rickey should have been sent off for his hit on Cam Murray off the ball Friday night. I thought he was lucky to stay on the field. A send-off would have been sufficient, Walters said post-game. Ricky has been charged with a grade two dangerous contact and faces two game suspension with an early guilty plea. So I don't get that. He's saying a send off should have been sufficient and no, no weeks off. Is that what he's saying? Not sure. I didn't. Well, see he, he did say that he was lucky to stay on the field. Yeah, so. but, but yeah, how's that? that yeah. How does that work though? How does he get away with it? Well, besides the two week suspension, but he stayed on the field. That's right, the consistency. They want to protect Reese Walsh, but what about the other players? Yeah, but uh, Cameron Murray, he was slightly fallen, wasn't he? Mm. But it was okay. Mm. Reese no... Walsh was sliding. There you go. If he's going to be a fairy, it's contact sport, mate. I'm sorry. This is why you have a big house. This is why you have a flashy car. It's because it's a contact sport and you get paid big money. Big money. If not, I'm telling you. I like I'll, Reece Walsh. I'll, I'll, I'm, not, I'm not directing at anyone, but these players that want to play, you know, handbags and that, I'll swap you. Yeah, I might be fat and old, but I'll run around the, the footy world and get that millions of dollars. You come out and work a 12-hour day on the tools. We'll swap and see what you want back. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Or you can go with Corey and push people around and shave them before surgery. No comment. <laughs> I was trying to think of something to say. He's going, I wouldn't I'm just swap my job. <laughs> he loves his job. Moving on. <laughs> lady. Latrell Mitchell was sin bin for escalating a push and shove on Friday night. I actually like that. It shows that he is back in when he's been accused of not caring as much. It shows to me that he cares about his teammates and the result, said James Graham. He's I, know, with Jimmy. I, love, I love James Graham on the on that 360 show. I'm not arguing with Jimmy. Mm. I like him too much. Mm. I agree with him. Yeah, but he's third man in the one of the rules. Yeah, and the, the you, other you're part, right, but I do part, like what he said as well. Yeah, the other part with 
Latrell and a couple others, they go in, they do the push and shove, and they look up the big screen to see if the camera's on them. Yes. Yes. You know? I'm not into that. I seen a few people in the crowd on the way go looking to see if the cameras are on. Yeah. Mm. Who was that? Taylor. Okay. <laughs> Carl Lotta. <Lonner. laughs> this one will get it up his goat. Oh, God, the, me a the Knights have reportedly discussed the possibility of signing Josh Schuster as their five eight next season. No. Not going there. Bay fifty five was all at sea on Sunday, wasn't it? You could see the steam coming out mm. of his ears. No, well, the point is, right, we have Gamble. Gamble played exceptional football last year. Yes, he was had a form slot this year and he's injured. But why have Manly just said, go on, get out of here? Yeah, why do no other club want him? Because <laughs> he's a good player, let go. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's lazy and he's not fitting in anyway. Yep. Or Manly wouldn't say, go now. They'll, they'll make him finish out his contract. There's a reason behind it, and I'll tell you what, the money that he wants, it's a waste of money. He was good at one stage. He, 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 he just does nothing. He's got the potential, but potential does not make you a good player without hard work. And I just don't... I'll put it to you. Yes. Penrith take him. Under Cleary, will he make him a better player? I think he could, because Cleary, I think, is a no-nonsense, doesn't put up the shit. But it all depends on the price tag. That's my biggest issue with the price tag. Is he worth the price he's asking for? Because he was asking for like 800000 mm, or something like that, correct? Yep. In the highs. Mm. Low sixes would be more like it. 500 fair. 12 month contract to prove yourself. Next. Train and trial. Ivan Cleary believes the NRL need to look into the length of the season as a potential reason for the increased injuries this year. The game is probably faster and there has been more ball in play than ever, so I guess that has a bit to do with it, he said. I, I know there's agree a to disagree, so there's to a lot speak. To do with it. The fastness? Yeah, 100% it has, but I don't believe the season is too long. But the pre-season and then you've well, got... Well, maybe they need to look at the pre-season The games stuff. after. But... They only have two trials, don't they? Yeah, but they're talking kangaroo tools. Oh, that, yeah. That's fine. Two trials and... The season length it is. If you can't play for the amount that, uh, that it is now um, and two pre-season games, you're not worth the millions of dollars you've been paid. Mm. I'm telling you. When you've got nurses and doctors and, you know, coal miners and quarry workers like myself, then... I would, yeah, I would kill to play for my country. Hey, I would... I would Give my left nut just to run out once at McDonald Jones Stadium and play for the night. Your nut's not good to anyone, though. I suppose yeah. you're in your handbag. <laughs> Could you imagine it? You almost ran out. Hey, no, I wouldn't. You almost ran out last Thursday, didn't you? But no, I would. Seriously, to, I know it would never happen. And, you know, but if I just got to do one game, that would mean the world to me, and I could hang out the jersey. These boys do it every week, and I think. A lot of people take it for granted, and they need to realise what they're playing for, not just the money. On saying all that, the, you got the um, the reserve grade type thing. Mm -hmm. When you're playing a team that's not up the list, like Eels, um, Titans, and the Warriors, put a few of them in, get them up. Let the if in the top thirty. That's the problem. Eh? Got to be in the top thirty. That's okay. the problem. But yeah, but the I'd top know, 30 okay. should be able to swap players around. If they're starting to burn out a little bit, let them sit there. There shouldn't be a top 30. If you're in grade, okay, reserve grade, jersey flag, or first grade, you should be able to play in any of them games. Um, obviously not first grade, back to jersey flag yeah. or whatever. But step up. Reserves and first, you should be able to play any. That's what I'm saying. It, it shouldn't be the top 30 only, you know. Like, that's just garbage. If you're good enough and you're playing... Uh, you're setting the house on fire and, you know, flag or whatever, for example, then you get promoted to reserve grade and you're setting the house on fire there for three or four weeks and uh, Jim Schwartz gets hurt and they're looking for a, a replacement and, you know, Arthur MacArthur, the coach, and goes, oh, this bike's really good. He should be able to go bang straight up. Exactly. Mm. Don't agree? Mm. Agree. It should be. should be. What do you think, Carlotta? Whatever you just said. <laughs> He's a fall asleep, maybe. 
Go on day. <laughs> Look me up and down. <laughs> Good Latrell, in the showers. <laughs> Latrell Mitchell explained his hesitancy in representing the Blues, previously saying, I've never been looked after. I've been the scapegoat. I don't want to go into this camp being the scapegoat if they lose, he said. Well, play 110% and you won't be a scapegoat. Full but, stop. but... He hasn't been the scapegoat. The Penrith players have. If they win... I'm a hero. He'll want to be the hero. Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. I know the easiest solution to that. Don't play and put Brad best in. <laughs> and then make him the scapegoat. Yeah. No, no, it'll be the Penrith players. Mm. Luai, mostly. Mm. You don't hear him complaining? No. No, because we got to work tomorrow. That's yeah, right. and then 100% facts. No, I, I think Luai's been great. Has. Mm. Yes. I think Luai's a, a great player, and I'll tell you what, it's shown he's sort of been held back with Nathan a little bit. I think someone's got a man crush. No, credit where credit's due. And he just likes men in headgear. He's finding himself a new little spoon. You just don't wear headgear, Larry Thompson. Gamble. How many headgear players do you think I like? <laughs> you thought him. you liked Hastings. <laughs> just him. He's got a new, new obsession. If you turn up with head gear next week, look out. <laughs> I will then. No, I was going to say we'll buy one. Go, Hang on, there's one me a <laughs> We've got Gail and Bombers. First night yeah. game head gear. It mm. must be inside. It is. All right. I'll wear that into the ground next week. Oh, gold. <laughs> He's going to put his head sweat in it. Hey, well, hey, that's getting framed with my Danny Badiris medal. Oh. All I need now is a jersey. Then I'll have head gear, jersey, Danny Badiris medal. What about his gym shorts? He's got them. <laughs> I, Next. Got, I got his speedos. We'll be here all oh. night. <laughs> it is reported the Eels pursued Blake Wilson last year and Clint Gutherson even called him and told him he would vacate fullback position for him. Despite this, Wilson felt a sense of loyalty to the Bulldogs for giving him his NRL, NRL debut and he rejected the Eels' offer. Wow, well, that's big. Mm. From Gutho. Mm. Mm. Go to Gatho, I don't mind Gatho. Yeah, I like him. I just like giving you shit for the yeah. deals, yeah. I think Gatho is football. starting to get on the downside a bit, but still mm. gives 150%. Well, he's got, I reckon he's got knees like us. Yeah. yeah but, Shot you know, the sh- shiver and lose. Yeah. Do you know, he's, he still lives out Manly Way too, so he's got a, he mm. travels a fair way each time. And same, there's a few places to do it. Scott Sorensen. Um, Matt shot. Eisenhower. And so when you get big bucks, mate, I'd, I'd travel to Melbourne and back every day. So they're all yeah. they live in the Shire, do they? Yeah, and they travel out to Penrith. Okay, mm-hmm. they carpool Matt Eisenhoof, uh, Sorrow, and there was one other. I Imagine got... being in the car with that lot, mm. ask them a few questions, a lot of stories. That'd be great. Or oh, Brian Tor, he likes to oh. fart. There, he doesn't. Oh, <laughs> he, he's <laughs> an absolute character. Okay. I'd like to be in a car with Brian Tuttle news. and Greg Marju. I reckon mm. they're probably two of the funniest people in league, mm. I reckon. Strongest legs in league. Mm. Oh, that's Taruva. Sorry. Oh, Taruva. Yeah. Oh, holy, oh, yeah. holy oh. egg. We're Ostrich at, egg. Yeah. We're at, there's a game on the weekend. The, I didn't notice till you said something. Yeah, the boys, you know, obviously you can wear that close. You can see her ring him. How yeah, young was Borsha goes, he's got eggs on his legs. <laughs> he's got massive. I yeah, took a photo. Hamstring. Ooh. I'll have to get Adam to put it up. Anyway, moving on. Mm. To come to Leichhardt after nine straight losses and see our fans turn up, giving the players a standing ovation in warm-up, that lifts you as a player. To have that support after a tough time, that meant a lot to us, said Benji on the game against the Titans. I agree. Mm. I love the standing ovations for certain things. Like they stick it, out in memory. Shows, shows you, you're passionate and shows the, the team that, they're still there, win, lose, or draw. And things like that do, I, I, you know, I've said it time and time again. But I You're about to tell us a clamour story again, yeah, aren't you? But you remember it, don't you? Because you... But you remember it. You yeah. remember it? Yeah. And I, you know, it's... it's I'll never awesome. forget that. Like, innovation. Yeah, and to be honest, like, I've, I've rated Clam. I've always been a fan of Clams, and I still like him. I've watched the Tigers because of him. But... To see that bloke smile when he walked past us after the like up the tunnel, that that was gold. Yeah, that I'm telling you too. The bloke might wear a tiger's jersey, but he still bleeds red and blue. Mm. There's he'll end up back at Newcastle when he retires. 
Karen Tate. Still got a house there, hasn't he? Uh, I believe he's building one, yeah. So. Mm. Anyway, moving on. It's just crazy. We make nine line breaks to two, had the game set up one field position and did all that part of the game, then go out in the second half and complete only nine sets. It's crazy. It's really disappointing. You don't make nine line breaks to two and lose, said Des Hasler. Mm. Imagine if it was Jeff Tuvey coaching. That would have been an investigation. Mm. Who was the one that broke doors? Desi. Desi. Oh. Mm. At Parramatta. <laughs> Snap the door. Never been the same again. <laughs> Snap the door off the hinge. Mm. Okay. They, they buy cheap hinges up here. Yeah. Three point one million dollars raised to um, Beanie, Beanie's. Yeah, brilliant. Mm. Mark Hughes. Yeah. And before you go any further, forty million for a stadium, six hundred million for another country. Oh yeah. Everyone puts in three million. Why doesn't the government put like? Good point. They're on good money then, yeah? Right. Even 50 million in the and bank. And I'll never have to worry about when they retire. No. Because mm. they're still on a pension, Bigger free fuel, lot. free travel. Free yeah. medical. Lot absolutely getting, disgusting. Get the Reserve Bank to actually few. <laughs> so, you know, three million, good on everybody. Mm. But, yeah, why are they still raising money for brain cancer and prostate cancer and stuff? It should be their bank. Mm. Agreed? Yep. Okay. Best thing you've said... What? All year, guys. Hmm. Yeah. 135,000 beanies sold, 66,000 from sports bet after 66 tries. The Big Three Trek raises 230,000. The rugby league community seems to find a way to lift every year, no matter what's going on in the world. We understand that financially times are tough for everyone in the country right now. So to help us raise $3.1 million is just incredible. It will never be lost on us how special it is for people to still find it important to buy a beanie or donate to Mark Hughes Foundation. Mark Hughes. Yeah, good one. I just wish they brought the black ones back. Uh, personally, opinion. Um, mm. I like the black ones. They're just changing it up yeah, every year. But I'd just like to see every year a black one. That right? was my favourite one yeah. last year's. That's my opinion. I love the black. It was the year before, I think it was the black one with no pom pom. Was that the one I had? Black and white. No, uh, I was one year. I'm. I really enjoyed it. It was just black, no pom pom. Oh, no, grey. Dark grey. Yeah, that, that was one with a the blue years. as well. There was a blue. Yeah, yeah was, I've got that one. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. But I went good on. Um, what about if they um, got with the NRL and put your club logo on the yeah, side? Yeah, that'd be the Even if you paid another five bucks or whatever. Doesn't have to be a big emblem, just, mm. you know, like the. Why did the NRL not do a lot of things, guys? Sure. <laughs> Why do the NRL wait, not have... Wait do you get in. Why do the NRL not have a mental health round? 100%. Why are the NRL not doing the whole round with special jerseys for Mark Hughes Foundation? Get really behind it. Yeah. Auction the jerseys off. I don't like the auction part. No, but just for this one. Yeah, I'm, so, what I'm saying is I'm on the pension. I haven't got money. No, no, I no. Want one. When I say auction the jerseys off for sponsors to have their sponsor on a one-off logo... Yep. You know, so Little Dragon, yeah, okay, I can't afford to do it a full year contract. I'm going to pay 10 grand to have my on there or something. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm. <laughs> if the media actually shut up and let me play, honestly, if you just shut up and let me play, I honestly think I'd amaze you how I play the game. I haven't forgotten how to play footy. I know how to entertain, but everything else is weighing me down. I wish the media would just let me play and let me be me. You'd get more good stories than bad, but that doesn't sell papers. I honestly think if I'd just shut my mouth like everyone is telling me to do now, I'd be the best player in the world. My culture is all I started talking about, and that's when the picture was painted of being a bad guy. Talking about what I believed in, that made them turn against me. Latrell Mitchell. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with your culture. And I'm sorry, stop talking about that shit because that's dividing everyone. That's making yep. it worse. Yep, 100%. I accept his culture like everyone else's. I don't care if you're Black, old. Black, white or brindle. I don't care if you're old, female, male, gay or whatever you are. We're all the same. And I love the different races. I love learning more about it. But you need to stop saying this is... The issue was his attitude. Yep. Not his um, culture. No. 
I, I love the indigenous culture and everyone does and you know we need to <coughs> do more but but to start saying that let your football do the talking yeah, well, let, stop yeah. you're talking about the media you've just put more into the media mm. he does a lot of stuff away with the indigenous lot that's terrific that 10 percent mm. keep that over there you'll get the good talk about it but for what he just said oh you know stop that uh, yeah you're just in, yeah it's just sparking just it be on fuel on the fire it's let you, okay, shut your mouth now, get on and do your origin, and let that do the whole yeah. Sorry. Reminds me of Anthony Mundine a little bit. Billy Smith's return to footy is complicated. He had 30% of his cartilage in his ankle removed in Ooh. surgery and is now struggling to run without swelling. Oof. He might not be back this season. I'd be struggling on the walk. <laughs> I'm surprised Billy, Billy Smith's made a comeback. Hmm. Mm. Dom Young was pulled over by police for an outstanding ambulance bill from when he injured his neck in a trial game. It was a misunderstanding where the bill was supposed to be sent to the Roosters. Oh, Nick would have covered it. <laughs> yeah, but why hasn't it been sorted by now? Since when do police pull you over for an outstanding ambulance bill? Well, that's what I thought exactly. was a bit weird too, but is it more to this than meets the eye? Probably. Uh, also, too, why would the, the ambulance send it to Dom Young? He would be presented to the... It doesn't make sense because he would go, okay, he's not taken away from the Roosters game in civilian clothes and he's not taken away by himself. I guarantee there's a representative from the Roosters club gone with him. They probably saw him and went, let's pull him over and make up some stupid excuse. And get his autograph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah something weird going on yep. there. Next. <laughs> Luke Keary is set to bat to backflip on his retirement and sign with the Catalans Dragons in the Super League for 2025. Okay, okay. This is my take on that. If all of a sudden he's not worried about his health, why would he want to retire in the first place? You reckon? So, Nick Belias came to and said, look, we need to get you out, mate. We need, uh, need salary cap money. Here's a paper bag under the table. You're retiring. You can go do what you want. If you give me that walk separation Paper bag. I don't trust the club as far as I can. That's my opinion. The Eels have reportedly cut their coaching options down to just Jason Riles and Josh Hanay. Trent Barrett, Jason Demetrio, and Michael Chica will no longer be considered for the role. Trent Barrett doesn't deserve the role, to be honest. Nope. That's my opinion. He's shown with... Uh, he's doing a right job at the moment. But it showed with uh, Manly and that. He's not a first-grade coach. Mm. He's a good assistant. And Canterbury. Yeah. He can't, he's not a first-grade coach. Jason Rolls, I'd like to see get the job. Mm. He's a front-runner of it. Mm. I, I'd, I'd be giving it to him. Uh, to be honest, no disrespect to uh, the other candidates, but Jason Rolls is a man for me. Where's he coming from? Uh, Storm. Storm. And he's, he's also been under the roosters at Trent Robinson. Trent Robinson. Uh, so, yeah, no, that's uh, two good coaches, really. Also, also with Eddie Jones at... When he was at rugby, yeah, we rugby too. Yeah. So. Didn't Adam O'Brien come from that direction? Yeah, both, both. both. Mm. And Adam O'Brien does do some good things too. Um, but I think I just hate his voice when he's doing an interview. Adam O'Brien, it's droning. I just oh. only thing I like to see about Adam O'Brien with interview with, after the game, sort of grow a little bit more balls, so to speak. Yeah, give it to the refs when they need to be. To a certain extent, so you don't get fined, but don't go. Not going there. Obviously, oh, that's well, Rob, mate. Yeah. Obviously, that animal doesn't like that comment either. Yeah, that's my stomach growling. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and lastly, the Knights are reportedly no longer interested in Lachlan Ilias. No, Vance, great player, but he's not fit for us. Okay, it's not the fit for us. Um, am I saying Hastings and Cogger are the fit for us? No, I'm not. No, I know, I know, I know who's coming. Don't quit, quote me. This is just a oh yeah, throw yes, that out. We spoke it, about that. I yeah. think so too. I think he will be there too, and I'll say it too. I'll say it on it. Who we think is coming? Mm. Uh, Peter Sutherland's son. Uh, Sullivan. Yeah, Sean. Sean. I reckon he'll be there. Um, this is just our opinion. We mm. could be wrong, mm. but there's a good chance he will. But saying that too, I don't think Schuster is an answer in the no. Um, Unless he comes in and plays it out of his skin, which I can't see. I, as much as I, I like the bloke, I think he's a champion guy, Chuck Cogger. I don't know if he's the answer either. Mm. 
I guess it all depends who's going to be outside him, which will help. Um, to be honest, I wish Cogs probably stayed at Penrith because I reckon he could probably turn into a better player next year mm. at 5'8 with Cleary. Mm, he would have been pretty much the first first 5'8 yeah. pick. He, he would have been done. playing 5'8 with Luan, yeah. yeah. Uh, so on a success for him, I wish he probably did that. Um, as I said to you, you know, I talk about players where I'd like to see what's best for them in a lot of cases, and yeah. that's what I think probably would have been a better option for him. Mm -hmm. um, Doing some good things out with us at times, mm -hmm. um, and I hope things turn around for him because he's he's a lovely guy to be honest. Um, I just don't know if okay, I don't know if Cogger and Hastings is our answer. Mm. I'll say that so I'm not branding one person. I just don't know if that combination is our answer. Yeah, whether it's Gamble, Cogger, <coughs> Tom Hastings. Tell. Cogger or someone new, I'm not sure. Mm. I just don't think the current combination is the answer. Anyway, that, is that us? Mm. And our old news, some long news tonight. Anyway, uh, guess back. Straight in. They're not the bags that you were talking about before, are they? No. Not the there. ones under your eyeballs, or? Brendan Harris put, Why can't we have a better way to announce the origin teams? It seems amateurish to have journalists spoiling teams before the official announcement. Mm. Channel oh. 9 could put on a program, have a panel to discuss the selections, and promote this year's origin. Mm. Have both coaches announce their captains, then each player in position, hand them their jerseys on stage, have an interview with both coach, captains, the panel, and the players. You know what? 100%. Like it. I don't think I've heard a better question wrote into us this nope. year. Well, well, I think that's a, a great idea. Um, and also have some kind of journalist or panelist or some after that doing a few interviews with players, so to speak, and that as well. And make a, a night of it, like a special on Monday night. Origin selection or something. Or, Origin, or, really or, or, or even Sunday night live where they can announce it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Love it. Mm. Absolute. A Bobby Dazzler, that it was, of a question. That's 11 out of 10, Brendan. Well done, mate. Bobby Dazzler. Peter Rumi. Rumi. Mm. Yeah. Sorry if I got it wrong. <laughs> Why do they allocate two points for a buy? Why not a zero points so it doesn't distort the figures, if you know what I mean? Mm. Speaking of buy, um, yeah, I just, yeah, why not just have no points? Mm. This doesn't make sense. Mm. But don't take them away yet because Paris has got to get a couple. <laughs> <laughs> probably, I suppose yeah, right, probably, that yeah, works. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you've got no points, then it makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, because imagine if you're selling lots in George or something that don't win many games. And, Hey, they've been going all right. No, I've got, they beat us. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> finish higher than mine, too. <laughs> they've got to finish higher than I had to try to wake him up. <laughs> Have got it. You wake Carl. I'm going it. <laughs> Victor. You, you oh, it. hang on. What is it? Last week it was Victor and what's his name? Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. yeah. Weekend of Bernie's. Mm. Weekend of Carlotta's. Mm. Carlotta. <laughs> oh. I'm with you there, Corey. I'm tired, too. I'm still recovering from looking after an eight month old. Mm. And then it's like, <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm committed. Yeah. You said eight months, not eight inch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a bit below the belt. <laughs> <Did you boom>? <laughs> <laughs> a frustrated Jason Gregory writes. It's a long one. Yeah, I just noticed. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. oh, this is not Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just snort? I have six inches, but it that's smells like a that's those, that's those bags he's been under. <laughs> uh, why do you think the Knights' line speed looked terrible? <laughs> Panthers seemed to be dominating the ruck and the Knights allowed it. We needed to slow the play of the balls, uh, the, slow the play of the ball, speed down to get their defence <laughs> line set, allowing our line to move up. The Panthers will get a quick play of the ball followed by another quick play of the ball and charge down the field from that. We lost that game in the ruck. We are getting in, in enough tackles. 
Uh, we need three in a tackle to get on top of them and slow them down, prevent them just jumping up and playing uh, playing the ball. The Panthers do this as well as other ruck slowing options 100%. to get away with it. We have to push the limit like they do. They didn't do anything wrong. Mm. They did. They they played good football. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with slowing the play the ball down the ruck down. Mm. It's if you're all going to do it, and the referee's going to let you get away with it. It's a fair game. Yeah. Um. And that's when the Knights, for example, need to go, okay, they're laying on the play of the ball a little bit, slowing the ruck down. We've got to do the same. So there's nothing wrong with it. That just puts that down to two for things here. Coach, get a message out to them. Tell them to lay on the play the, on the, the slow the ruck down. Two. All right. And then you got um, Peter Parr there with his microphone. He sends a message out to them. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's just good football. That's smart coaching. Yep. Second one. The captain. Captain has to identify this or, you know, or even someone on, but it should go down to the captain. Go, okay, well, they've scored against us. We're behind the goalposts. Penrith for laying on us. I'll just use this for example. Slowing the ruck down and it's killing us. We need to do the same. Yep, 100%. That's what it's got to come from. Touching like, that too. That, that's smart, good football. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to go as far as I'm not saying a bias because I'm into Penrith a lot, but Ivan Cleary is probably one of the best coaches in the last five years or so. Well, it shows with Penrith, but that's smart coaching. Yep. Yeah, no, I was going to say, seconds each with tackle, the, yeah. it adds up over the game. Yeah, and it gives you, yeah. I just, mean, just when you say touching on the line speed, Penrith are probably just a lot fitter and faster. 100%. But have you ever tackled someone and found it hard to get up? I can't get up off the floor in a couple of seconds. <laughs> I know I'm not fit, but like we, we James Fisher Harris, we have, you, know. you have James Fisher Harris laying on you. You think that big unit can get up real quick? <laughs> You're looking at her, oh, like stop Corey. It. <laughs> no, it You're being dirty. You'd feel if James Fisher Harris was laying on you. You'd love it. Oh, you'd. Well, I'd, want, I'd, I'd want to quickly get out of there, but I know you'd, you'd want be, stacks on with Leo. Yeah, Group bunks in the showers. showers. <laughs> Smith would be there. Give me a paper. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> no, all seriousness, I've got a goal, and I'm going to do it. Yeah, so does he. No, <laughs> because you all know I collect player memorabilia. Like do you jerseys. want Fisher's undies? Mm. No. Mm. I will get, and I don't care what it's cost me, I will get it. Fisher Harris's Penrith jersey. Leo Thompson's Knights jersey and Gambles. Can you watch it? They'll all be framed up with the rest of them. Uh, that to me, like this kind of stuff, is priceless to me. Like it means more. Like I've had big money offered for my Danny Badiris medal. I won't part with it because mm. it means more to me than money. They would if look. there was someone like okay, Gary uh, was in a bad way and needed um, some money. And I could offer it to him for selling that. Different story. Mm. Yeah. They, um, look, they look good in the studio if you got all those framed and whatnot. No, 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 no. That's a big our, studio. <laughs> that'll yeah. be in our gym room. Oh, the gym room. One side's Penrith, the other side's the North. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah. In, in the gym room with the shorts. I like the idea. Of, I like the idea of the gym room though. How many is that? Hmm. Well. Do you renew your membership and you can use them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably All right. seized up. Number four. What? The gym or the joints? <laughs> Both. <laughs> All over the night's pages and groups in the off-season about these sensations from England where one cannot even get a start. What is the point of buying him and sticking him in Reggie's whilst two experienced halves can't even string a play together? Is there unjust between Hastings and the playing group? Dylan Fraser. Well, That's definitely, the question. In my opinion, there's definitely between Hastings and Price. Look, mm -hmm. we, hate to, we hate to get on to this time and time again. It has been brought out. It's no secret. There was an issue. Surely got there professional enough to... To get mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the game. It's the club. Mm -hmm. It's the fans. It's the footy. Mm -hmm. One thing everyone's missing. He's a kid. Hastings is mm. Did you see that bloke on the weekend? The kid? Killed it. Mm. Absolutely killed it. Showing up. Kicking goals from everywhere. All over the park. I mean, what was the score? Was it whatever the score was? Oh, 
I think about 38 of that was bloody Goals. Will Price. Mm. He scored everything. And he loves the place. Him and Kai, we spoke to Kai too. I said to him about Kai Pierce. I said, you, how are you feeling here? You know, settling good. He, love the place. I said, oh, I'd say we'll be keeping you for a while. He goes, I hope so. He goes, I don't want to go anywhere. Loves the place. So these two, we need to, I'm telling you now, someone needs to rock it up their ass in the club because they need to wrap these two up for a long period. And Leo Thompson, these three have to be our priority to lock them up because I'm telling you, the clubs are going to be sniffing now. Mm, and yeah, if well, they lose Leo Thompson, there will be a riot. Well, Leo's one brother, man riot. riot. Leo's brother will be coming. I read today. Yeah, yeah look. I read it. Well, you just spoiled half my ass. <laughs> well, we'll just take that backwards. Yes. Number five. What are your thoughts on the New South Wales origin team this time round? This one's by a, a bloke who writes in quite often. Mr. Oath. Ken Oath. Ken Oath? Hmm? He's writes in Oh, I don't know his father. Fucking. <laughs> 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 That's what it means. <laughs> so it's him. They had a cousin named Bloody too. Huh? Yeah, a cousin named Bloody too. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Gary, you first. I like it. What? Mitch is in. Mitch Moses. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, any, any. I think Suoli he should be in game three personally. Unless Mitch, uh, unless Latrell blitzes it. No. So early, he should have his chance. Okay, Colin. I don't get to finish it. <laughs> I thought you were. No. Okay, and? No, I'm finished. Okay. <laughs> we all know my thoughts. Too many Penrith yeah, players. Yeah, the Penrith. Side. Look at Edwards on the weekend. He was not himself. Yeah, but he deserved it. He, sh he, he should have and would have been there for game one, but he was doing extra stuff to benefit the team. Mm. So he should get another shot. Well, so then I'm ask ready. me after the game. Okay, any other? Nothing Ask else? me after the game if there's no injuries, I might be nice about Anything about Robin's <laughs> best performance on the weekend? I'll save that for you. Okay. Um, there's a few things I'd like to change. Obviously, I would have liked yeah, to see... Yeah, well, that's the, yeah well, I'd like to see Luai at seven and Matt Burton at six. Yes. Yeah, Luai should be in seven. Yeah, I, agree I agree with that. that. Yeah, Mitch Barnett should have been in there he somewhere. That little team I put up that week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, um, I mean, you know, probably Bradman Best would probably use the incumbent too. Mm. Okay, Bradman Best, what else did he have to, to, to do to prove? Have a spot. Know, have dinner with Michael Maguire. He, just, he it was single handedly decided. kept us in the game with the reigning premiers. Mm. He did, but it was decided before mm. the number of game. No, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have, but been. it was. Mm. Everyone should have an opportunity to present their case, and he wasn't allowed yeah. to. Yes. I believe that Latrell Mitchell was. Going to be chosen, hmm. right regardless. Right. It was. Yeah. It was okay. But I go back to why is he any special to this person? Because he's an entertainer. Bradman Best entertained twenty-seven thousand people on the weekend, especially down to Andrew Johnstein. Hmm. <laughs> My point is, there's special rules for special people. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitch Barnett. I don't disagree with that. I'm yeah. just saying. Oh yeah, I'm just mm. saying what I feel. Mm. Uh, Mitch Barnett. Yeah, he's 18th man. I don't know why, to be honest. Okay. I like the bloke. I think he's the mo one of the nicest bloke you'll ever meet. But realistically, probably Mitch deserved the spot more than um, Trebojevic. Really? Uh, oh, but he's the captain. Well, you got to deserve that right and prove to be... You know, you got to earn that. Yeah, he, he what probably came out. What was the captain sitting on the uh, well, that's an old. seat for most of the game? Was he injured or? No, no they reckon the, it was the way. The game know. plan. Well, you find that hard, every, everyone reckons he's one of the best, which I think he is. Yeah. He's taking it up the middle. and He's defense. underrated. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> they, <laughs> they didn't take him. They didn't have their mind out of the gutter. Well, because we think a lot. Take it up the middle. <laughs> We're footy oh, braids. Were you thinking that when you said no, it? No. I was going to say I'm thinking footy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, anyway, back to where we're I was. innocent. Yeah. Angus Crichton. Barnett's been playing a lot better than him. 
Barnett, I honestly, I don't wish ill on any player. But. 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 <laughs> I, hope someone has, but. I hope someone gets an in-ground like toenail <laughs> this week or something. <laughs> and can't buy and he gets his shot. He deserves it. I mean, they'll probably, look, it's probably, fake. we'll probably have egg on our faces next week anyway. They'll probably win, but. And Latrell will have a blinder. Blinder, but, hey, look, I've I, I, I got no issue with him being there. Don't get me wrong. No, I don't. No. The issue is someone else deserved a spot yeah. and didn't get it. Mm. I know you can't have everyone, but mm. when you got someone playing better and deserved it, mm. and he is an incumbent as well, they're talking about that, so Bremen deserves his spot. Sorry. Mm. And that's not my red and blue glasses on. That's just how I see it. Anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Done. Are you only had a little bag than all? Five questions. Yes. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get stuck question. in it while we're in a... Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Did you say you've got a question? No, I said five questions. Oh, I thought you said you've got a question. No. Yeah. That's like uh, Corey's favourite restaurant. Yeah. Five guys. Five guys. Mm. Coming <laughs> in, is it a restaurant? Are you over at the boat ramp. <laughs> on that, on that day, we'll take a short break so she can have a have a have a bite. Have 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 <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. It's time for the week that was with Elliot. How are you, champion? Yeah, you're doing well. How are you? Oh, actually, I'm not surprised to see Coley smiling and wearing that jersey. <laughs> I won't ask how he is, but I hope you're. Oh. All... We haven't been outfit shopping yet. Why do I do it? But seriously, hey, have, have you have you seen Newcastle's record in Newcastle against Penrith? I don't know why you make these bets. Well, I thought I was really confident, and I thought something's going to change. And I tell you what, a couple of minutes into it, I was pretty excited and <laughs> until um, oh, Portia, our daughter, looked at Kylie when the night scored and said, "Mom, are you okay?" <laughs> <laughs> And oh mate, I, I was happy, but mate, it is what it is. I'll uh, I'll wear it with proud and um, pride. Pride, you know, same thing, different matter. Um, are must... we going for round two, but as well? We'll be better in Penrith. Why not? Yeah, no, we might forget. I that. reckon do it singly. So you got to do it twice, then. <laughs> I um, I reckon you got excited because they won the lower grades. I was excited. I thought mm. this could be a free Pete. You were talking yeah. about free Pete, and I was, well, well, you know. I was. Your mum was. Oh, well, someone was. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we'll get into it, eh? Um, I haven't got the games from last week. Anyway, who's got the games there? Yeah, you do. And Sharks first up? Yeah, mate. Uh, the Sharks and Dolphins, 28. Uh, 30. The Dolphins took that one out, mate. I uh, didn't see that. I thought the Sharks would have played better than that, to be honest. Yeah, the, the mid-season Sharks have reared their ugly heads. It's um, probably two things that come out of that game. Uh, it, it's the first time I've been genuinely convinced that the Dolphins will probably play finals footy. Um, and, and second of all is, is yeah, the, the ability for the Sharks to, to fall off the wagon the way they have. The, the difference between their best and the worst there's no team that has more disparity in the competition. It's uh, it's a real concern for Craig Fitzgibbon's men, but you credit the Dolphins. They are a Wayne Bennett coach team. They they compete at a high level. Uh, they don't waste good ball, and they've got enough individuals there, talent wise. That uh, yeah, that that'll go down as one of their best wins, if not their best. Hmm. Impressive, Herbie Farms, or mm. yeah, he was in everything. Mm. Yeah. To be honest. Um, <laughs> Broncos, you know, you wouldn't really like it. I know they can't keep everyone, but it's one of the the ones that you let go that you probably wish you could have kept. Um, but yeah, you can't keep them all. Um, I'm still not convinced 100%. I know they're up there in the top spot, uh, well, up there, the, the Sharks, but I'm still not convinced they're a premiership contender. I mean, they're a top eight team, top four team, but are they going to take the premiership? I just don't think they're th that far yet. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, excuse me, they're up there, but I'm not confident. Yourself? Sharks? Yeah. Nah, put a pen through them. I, I, I don't <laughs> like them. But I, like, I love Nico Hines. I think he could be the best bloke in rugby league, and he's only two and a half years into being a halfback in the NRL, but, uh, you know, it's on paper. What They haven't won a finals game um, with him yet, and... Uh, they're just not quite there. And as I said, when, when the difference between your best and the worst is that much, 
If they make the finals, I think they'll get bundled out first week. I wouldn't mm. be surprised to see him go on a bit of a skid now. Possibly. The same with Nico Hines, who, you know, um, with Origin. I don't think he's ready for Origin either. No. Um, and I hate to see the bloke get put in there time and time again. And his confidence just, you know, skyrocket down like they did with Jarrah Mullen. Put him in too soon, wasn't ready for it. And he, I don't think the bloke was the same again. Uh, yeah, Sharks move on to next year. Oh, you know, still got to, you got to finish highly. But like I said, it's a couple of years between now and then until they, they'll win it, I think, or come close to it. Um, yeah, but the Dolphins... <laughs> They just keep producing, really. Uh, mm. Any team that's coached by Wayne Bennett, so, mm. yeah. Well, Isaiah Katoa's was you know, getting better as well. Like, you know, one season under his belt. He was a rookie last year, wasn't he? Mm. You know, he's looking good this year. Anyway. He, um, he is one of the most exciting talents in the comp. I, I just... My biggest concern is he's going to choose New Zealand over New South Wales, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys saw Joey speaking about him. I think it was last time, maybe even this morning. And, and, and to hear the words of the eighth and, and how much he loves this kid and, and, and thinks highly of him, he's going to be a superstar for a long time to come. Mm -hmm. Just the maturity around his game already, the ability to, to kick to corners, to, to know when his team needs a breather, his kicking game, well, I've got as one of the best in the competition at the moment. I, I think yeah, he's he's such a talent, that kid. Mm. Mm. Can't can't argue with that one. Won the six. Oh, sorry, won the eight for Mortal Talks. You listen, don't you? <laughs> um, he knows knows the game more than anyone, really. Uh, moving on, mate. The Raiders sixteen went down. The Cowboys thirty four. Raiders. Mm, very disappointing. The Raiders this year, to be honest. I. Uh, you expected a lot more from the Raiders, but uh, Cowboys bouncing back. Yep. Yeah, I, I probably to be I'll contest that on on the Raiders in that I think a lot of people had them, you know, and, and odds wise they were penciled to finish bottom four. I, I think what they've done with Fogarty out has actually been for the most part very good. Uh, mm, in saying true. that, I've I've never seen a Raiders team booed off the field by their own fans as they were at half time. Uh, and, and the Cowboys, two out of the last three weeks, I haven't tipped them and they've won both times. They're, you know, they're a hard team to cover. They are Jekyll and Hyde. They're another team where their best is good enough to mix it with the top four in the competition, but their worst is they'd probably lose to the Cessna Guanas Reggies. It's. Uh... <laughs> Mm. True. <clears throat> Reuben Cotter too. I thought played really well. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah, true. Um, tell Moalo. Um, on the way out, I right hear. Um, wanting to. Possibly shopping around, is that correct? Uh, there's a few stories that are going around. I'd be shocked, to be honest, Dean, for a couple of reasons in that this is home for him up here and the price tag. Yes. Uh, he, he's still contracted for another few years in the Cowboys at a million dollars a year. No team's going to take Jason for probably half of that, to be honest. So mm. if he was to go somewhere, that's with the Cowboys accepting that they'll pay, let's say, 500 k of his salary, which... I just can't see it happening. I, I actually, I'll give him props. I think the last six weeks he's played really good football. He, he he'd come off the bench for most of that, but had been making you know great meters. His numbers were, were back up again. Put he was pretty good in Canberra uh, on the weekend, but uh, I, I won't call it a problem. But it is a something they'll have to address in the off season as to what the plan is with him. Well, he's got the talent there. He's just got to try. Spark well, he's, got no, he's got no knee left, mate. He's got no cartilage left in, in one of his knees, so he struggles to train most weeks. He he lives in constant pain, and, and look, we're all over our 30s, so we know what that's like. He, he just, you know, he wakes up every morning hurting all the time, and I, I empathise with him because he's a lovely fella, Jace. Um, mm. The fact he's able to play at all, to be honest, I reckon there's a few people that would have been medically retired by now. He's, he's a tough bugger, but, yeah, I, I don't know how long that lasts. Going, going back to that, speak for yourself. I'm still under 30. 
centimeters tall. Apologies, apologies, apologies. <laughs> I was going to say, speaking of you know being over thirty, I feel like I'm like one of them glow sticks. I get up and <laughs> that's a. <laughs> That's me, but uh, mate, moving on. The rabbits twenty-two. Uh, this was a real shock to me. I uh, the Broncos twelve. I don't think I've seen the Broncos play this badly, uh, to be honest. It was shocking. Um, and you know, one of my exciting um, players to watch, uh, Jordan Ricky. I don't think I've seen him play that badly before ever. I was out for two weeks as well. I reckon he's probably lucky to only get two. Uh, you could argue what he did to a player off the ball was as bad as all we saw in origin. If not worse, if Cam Murray stays down there, you know, or if Cam Murray mm. isn't such a tough bugger, I'm not saying Reese Walsh isn't tough. Reese was, was out like a light. Um, but yeah, I, I think Jordan's lucky to get two weeks. I, I'm happy for, for Souths to see a heartbeat again. I'm happy for Jacob Gago. I spent a bit of time in the night system, mm. 28, to be playing regular first grade finally is a very cool story. And as a blue, I was happy to see what Latrell dished up and, and I can't wait to see him rip him next Wednesday. Hope, hoping. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. I've got a little issue there. I just... I reckon it's I, all Taylor made for him. It might be my red and blue goggles on, but I just... Yeah, we'll talk about that with the Knights, but just, you know, his performance, I just found it hard to mm. leave Bradman out. But, like you said, Latrell played some good footy too. So, being a slack there, it's going to be, it would have been a pretty hard decision. But, maybe, um, like you said, that's exciting to see what uh, Trell can offer on um, next week. That decision was already made before yeah. the Knights game. I was going to say, maybe maybe Bradman should have went in and had dinner before mm. Latrell did. <laughs> well, true. I mean... We'll get into that in a minute, but oh God, Bradman played some good for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Tigers, mate, 18 um, over the Titans, 10. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to watch this game again. Um, <laughs> oh, look, I, I, I was happy for the Tigers to get the win. I think they got some cool project plays. I really like Samuel Afainu because he's got a bit of mongrel about him. Uh, he's still growing into his body, but he'll be a good talent for them long term. thought Aiden Caesar was a great in, but... I know Desi Hasler talked about it. For the Titans to make nine line breaks to two, only score 10 points and lose that game, geez, there's something rotten there at the moment. i tell you what, the Tigers are going to benefit big time from Lou I oh, think. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. He carries over what he's doing now. Oh, aren't they white? But, uh, yeah. Scary. There's not a lot you can say about the Tigers this year, really. Um, I'll put my hand up and say I've had them going a little bit better than what they were for Benji's inclusion as coach and uh, Clam and Appy, all them together for a second year. I thought they would have gone a bit better. Um, so am I a little bit disappointed? Yeah, I am. Um, but next year's a whole new ball game, I suppose, with Lua. He opens up a, a whole new story there. But yeah, Titans, what's going on there? Does Would anyone want to go and play at the Titans at the moment? To be honest. Well, I mean, they pinched Carter Gordon from rugby, so well, maybe he didn't true. check their record prior. But um, look, <laughs> they're, they're missing they're missing a couple, I suppose. AJ Brimson is is a big out, uh, but and obviously Big Tino as well. But um, they they still got too much talent to be losing the way they are. And, and the fact they went to Brisbane and won what three weeks ago at Suncorp. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. On paper, they've got a talented team, very talented team. Like, yep. excuse me, even the hooker. Mm. Excuse me, Randall. Look, just something's not right. But anyway, it's a lot of speedy outside backs they've got, and um, mm. and even Kieran Forum's playing some good football this year. Um, you know, some of his best football he's played for a number of years. I feel, but he, he uh, didn't play any for Parramatta. Yeah, well, <laughs> would, would you want to? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warriors, mate. 24 down to the Storm, 38. I think the scoreline blew out a bit further. Well, you know, when you lose two men, it's going to blow out this way. But Mitch Barnett, what an excitement machine. What does this bloke have to do to get a start in origin, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's probably just a credit to, to the back rowers and, and front rowers too. They're available for New South Wales at the moment. I, I, I don't know what New South Wales' plan for 18th man is, uh, I, but he hasn't been named at club footy this weekend, so that suggests it, it, it will be him for game three. Um, 
Fun. It was great. Uh, the Warriors would be disappointed though. The one they, the way they won the start and then allowed Melbourne back into that game. Uh, Grant Anderson had such a great game. He's kept Remus Smith out of the side this week, which is a, a big storyline. Mm. Uh, and I don't think we'll see the Sewer Falongo uh, swan dive any time again because the, the poor <laughs> bugger, when he winded himself on that ball, I felt that that hurt me. Oh, he's he's an excitement machine. But to be honest, I look, I like watching. Like, the Storm's not a team that I say, think, oh, I'm going to watch them play, but now that this bloke's included, I actually do. I like, oh. the, I, I like the fact that he's actually Melbourne-born, raised there, because there's not many of them. Hmm, true. But he's, he's an excitement machine, and he's a... So if he's from Melbourne, does he... Is he where's his, you know, where's, he, where's his origin? Hmm. Is there, you know... Uh, New South Wales, can we pull him that way at all? Mexico. Or? No, I, I believe eligibility he can't play for, for either state. So, uh, But he, he's he's kept a spot this week. He could play on the wing with Pappy's return. But there's a fair bit of Newcastle flavour in that Melbourne side. Like I said, Grant Anderson is a, is a butcher mm. boy from back in mm. the day. Um, and, of course, Josh King is just he's, he's Mr. Consistent for them. How You get some players that go to other clubs and just boom. Has it been better... Anyone better than Josh King? No, probably no. not. In yeah. terms of consistency to his footy, the ability to play uh, prop, or he's, he's played lock successfully for him too. Um, and and you you watch all the pregame stuff. He's the one that's doing all the talking. Um, mm. I know Bellamy loves him, thinks he's a great leader, and you can't help but be happy for him because he was bullied unfairly, I think, by by a lot of Newcastle fans back in yes. the day. He doesn't use social media, and one of the reasons is because people would just write tripe about him all the time. So you can't help but be happy for him. Mate, you're dead right. The amount of, like, we know he's Arnie, um, Michelle, and the amount of stuff that she was telling us that he cop was absolutely ridiculous. Um, but he's let his actions do the talking, and look at him now. Because he's, back then he was probably inexperienced, and they shouldn't really have a go at him about that. But at the end of the day, he was still, he's human. That's right. And I don't think he deserved no, I'm, I'm the not rap saying, that he got anyway. I'm not like, saying that, but I'm just saying, no. like, you know, he was inexperienced. But look at him now, like, he's, he's thriving. And a lot of credit's got to go to Bellio mm. um, for what he does to some players down there. But, mate, uh, yeah, Warriors. I think I think it is worth worth, and I won't harp on it too much. And, and I know you guys are very good for it. I, I scroll social media quite a bit. There's some fan pages... And, and Newcastle fan pages I see as well that will go on to official pages and rag on players individually and, and have a crack at them. And I just never understand that because you, you're bang on. Uh, you know, you, you can be disappointed about performance, but when you start hammering individuals, there's a human beings, the families that read all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I know Josh King's partner used to read the stuff about him back in the day and it, it would it would it would cut her deep. It's um it's not on especially, you know, there's there's people out there that run whether it's podcasts or fan pages and whatever, and they put their official name to a comment, and I, it just baffles me. It's it's mm -hmm. the behaviour of a ten year old, and and even then you'd think they'd be more adult. So, yeah, I think a few people need to to wake up to themselves, and and I hope the people that have write, written that stuff hear this because I read it every week from. Mm. Funny, That's disgusting. Funny you say that. Actually, funny you say that today about writing. We had an incident today. Um, on our page, and as you all know, we won't tolerate any. You can have an opinion on a player, but once it gets personal, see you later. Um, Jerome Luo. Some people were bagging him out, then all of a sudden pops up. His family are on our page and pipe yeah, in. and Because a night supporter saw him in Newcastle and, mm. and got a picture with him, and he posted it in our group, and then you got people going, what a grub, this guy's, a, you know, saying nasty right. crap. But my point is, his family read all that stuff too. Mm. There's no need for it. And how do, how do they know that he's a grub? Mm. Have they met him? Mm. Obviously not, because I'll tell you what, I've met the bloke. Um, it may have been because I was trying to hold Kylie off getting at him, but I still met the bloke. <laughs> and um, I'll tell you what, I've met a lot of nice people in the game, and there is a lot of good footballers out there, you know, away from football. But this bloke is up there in the top ten. I'll oh, yeah. tell you what, he's one of the nicest bloke you ever get. And with your fans, 
Say it on the weekend again. That's what I was going to say. I've got a high, even higher opinion of him because when he when he first got the ground, he was with his little boy, mm. and then he was the he was the last person to leave the ground. Mm. As usual. As usual, it was mm. him. But the people getting offended over that comment about oh, chill, you idiots have to work tomorrow. Number one, why would you get offended? Because yeah, I've got to work tomorrow, so what? Unfortunately, is that all? That's if I'm if you're lucky enough to have a job. And number two, it was his response. Somebody was bagging his child out, mm-hmm. and and that's a mild response in my opinion. Yeah, well, that's right. And you know, it's no secret we've said it here before that a, a good friend of ours through the club now, excuse me, Tyson Gamble. He cops a lot of crap too. <clears throat> Why? I just don't get it. And, and, unless you're anywhere better, shut the hell up. You know? Put on a jersey and get out there. Mm. Oh, no, I bloody couldn't, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, there's no need for it, mate. Like, you don't know what other people are going through as well. You don't know what's in their head. And, mm. you know, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. They move on. And if anyone's watching out there, they think they're going to get on our page and say some nasty comments to players or about them, think again, because I'm telling you, you'll be booted quicker than anything. Mm. I, I won't put up with it, so... Anyway, moving on, we'll be uh, yeah, off a of locks rose up to I don't think Gary does want to move on. Yeah, that just that just really gets up my gut where people, you know, you can have opinions, but when you get personal to a player, I mean, that's just disgraceful. Anyway, I need another beer. Uh, moving on, <laughs> Parramatta, 18. Uh, what was the score, guys? 18. Stop what? it. 28. You can't talk. Yeah, stop it. What I, what I look at is their third or fourth last, and they're still competing right up the last bit. If with the top, I know that top ranks. Well, they're gone, they're gone great, but I've got to give you a bit of slack. I know. Bit... You can get <laughs> Doesn't work. Slack. But we'll put a bet on in next week. Not nice, a chance. Nice yeah. Penrith, come on. Um, <laughs> You're getting a cul-de-sac too. No, no, it's Penrith. <laughs> Try again. Parramatta. Um, <laughs> to be honest, like they have had a few injuries as well, um, and I think the Eels have done pretty well this year. Um, but you won't hear me say that twice. Um, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Roosters just keep going, don't they? Um, and good to see Connor Watson getting a start in the Blues. Um, been a big fan yeah. of Connor's for years, so deserving. Yeah, he, he, he's a good story. And very quickly, I'll, I'll back you, Gaz. I think Parra are playing pretty good footy <laughs> against good teams at the moment, and, and they got a good run coming up. So I don't think they'll make the eight, but I think they'll give it a nudge towards the back end. Okay. I also think they'll have Jason Rolls locked in over the next couple of weeks. Um, but, I hope so. Uh, yeah, Connor Watson is a great rugby league story. I listened to him on a podcast. I can't forget, uh, sorry, I can't remember which one it was from a couple of years ago. And and I remember then he said, it's people might laugh at me. It's a dream of mine to put on the Blues jersey one day. Mm. Since then, I reckon he's had about four or five significant injuries mm. to come back the way he has. I know he's been compared to him a lot, but he really does remind you a bit of Craig Wing, uh, who was a, a favourite player of mine uh, in the Origin Arena. And to see him get that 14 jersey, you know, he can, he can play, obviously, number nine for you. He can play lock. He can play in the halves at a stretch if you need. And he covers a lot of positions, and, and he won't let the jersey down. I'll tell you what, he's a fast little bugger, too, for a yep. little fella. He can run. Mm. Like, you don't realise, I forget who he was, chased down. Well, he's still playing for the Knights, chased him down, caught him in the corner lock from one end of the field to the other. He can motor for He's got a set of wheels on him. Um, but, yeah, legend. Like you said, another success or um, st- real good story where you know in- dreadful injuries and come back and look at him go, look at him go. So awesome, Can't, happy, happy you know. for him. Yeah, mm. um, Spencer Lino. I thought Spencer played well again, especially after backing up from Origin. Um, yeah, really impressed with Spencer. Yeah, I reckon there's there's two players that scare Queensland the most Wednesday, and and I think it's Spencer and Latrell. I think. Mm-hmm. The way Spencer carries the ball scares the crap out of me watching the TV. I can't imagine marking up against him. Uh, his minutes are meaningful. He, he never seems to have a carry where he's flat-footed. And he hits hard, too. He doesn't yeah. fall off tackles. He's he's playing really good football. Uh, to be honest, I know some people might think I'm weird, but I get, you know, yeah. I'm a footy. I live, sleep, and breathe footy. I love it, don't we? But I get excited watching Spencer play, uh, especially Origin Lock. You know, when you used to, back in the day, the Harrigans, the Carols, and, you know, yeah, those kind of plays, and you used to get real excited about what's going to happen. I'll get that feeling again now with Spencer. Liam Martin excites me. Yes, that's another one. Uh, there you go. There's number one of nice blokes of the... How mm. nice was Liam Martin on the weekend? Mm. Another thing, see, you see, 
a lot of people in the social media network are quick to jump on, you know, this person did that bad, or players, what they don't do. But they never tell the good stories. Like Liam Martin, seriously, the way he come up to fans too on the weekend, absolute awesome guy, wasn't he? Mm. Absolute legend. So, you know, shout out to the Penrith team, to be honest. They were really nice. And stayed out after the game. Yes, I get the Knights lost. Um, we haven't got to that yet. Okay. My Move point on. was, I like the way <laughs> Liam Martin hits in origin. Mm. Oh, yeah. 100%. Um, getting back to where uh, Spencer, him and Latrell were having a bit of a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's a nothing story. I know it's a nothing, but... Okay, the... hang on. Proud Indigenous man yourself, Elliot. Should this be just put to bed and just moved on? It's probably a broader question than that. I, I, I think, yeah, there will be a conversation between Latrell and Spencer. Uh, but let's not forget that Nico was was particularly outspoken about the situation mm. as well. He was in camp with Spencer. And I know they buried the hatchet. So mm. um, I, I, I'm i a big believer in second chances to an extent. I think there's certain actions off the field and domestic violence is one of them where I'm, I'm not a big believer in it at all. But I, I think when someone, and I, Spencer's made a mistake and mm. he owned in the end that he made a mistake and I know that they've done... Uh, a bit of work with Spencer and in, in learning the right terminology and, and, and the right way to speak to people. Oh, I think he deserves a second chance. Uh, and the Latrell Spencer thing won't be an issue. They'll, no, if they haven't already, that they, they will catch up. They will have a conversation and, and, and they'll bleed for each other. Come. Mm. There you go. You heard it. I think, from yep. A, as I said, I think, it's, there was a lot of blow up about it today yeah. and this is now. And, and, and I just wanted to get a, yeah, from, you know, someone like Elliot's perspective, so. Um, yeah, moving on, guys, eh? Um, do, so we, you, do we have to? Yeah, so you goes 30. <laughs> Dragons 14. Uh, I will say one thing. Oh, I follow a lot of different footy players on um, Instagram and stuff, you know. Um, what's his name, Brown? Um, Nathan. Nathan. No, no, no. For the, Oh, for, he say his first name? Oh, for, they call him oh, Fanu. Fanu, yeah. yeah. Did you see him and Raymond? Raymond was asleep on the bus. Uh, Fanu goes up and gives him a kiss on the lips. <laughs> Did you see <laughs> no, that? No, I don't. Oh, it was a classic. You just thought the banter between them all. And that, I you bet know. you were thinking, how come my boys don't do that to me? Now, <laughs> talking about that, why are we buying Damien Cork when we've got Fanu Brown there? To, well, to take the hooking duties with Liddell. Because I look at Jack DeBellin's going. Yeah, and Master... Apprentice, hmm. you know, he might be there for two years and teaching. Oh, yeah, I don't know. As you said, you've touched on this a few times. How good for New Brown? Oh, I rate him. I rate him really a lot. I think he's um, when he was at the Knights so that short period of time, I thought he was uh, exceptional. And then went over and played with um, uh, Fish and Co. and um, played really well on the Kiwi side. I mean, so. This poor bugger's going to have more clubs than Tiger Woods. So yeah, I think he already has in his short career, poor <laughs> bugger. But no, nah, it was a classic. But it's good to see some fun like that as well. Um, but yeah, Dragons, mate, yeah. what's going on there? I don't know. Talk about the haters, though. Um, they went, uh, Tyrell Sloan, I'd get on the um, the chat there with St George all the time, and they he cops a barrage every week. You know, he has a bad game, yeah, they're on to him. Where are the Sloan haters now if he has a good game? Like, it's yeah. like the like he's had a great season so far. Like, he's improved. I like the guy. <clears throat> oh, it, it, mate, improvement. I think he's one of the great improvers in the competition. Because, mm. I, 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 honestly, I don't know that he was at NRL standard the games he played last year. This year, he's a genuine starting fullback for me. Mm. And, and and I think he's a really exciting talent. When mm. when they're on the front foot, the Dragons, when your Molos are running hard, when DeBellin's getting quick play the balls, uh, we're able to see the best of him in attack. But oh, I think the big improvement has been his communication in defence. And it's still something he's working on, mate. Uh, but I, I know they're big on, the on him. Into, yeah. And I know they're big on what he's worked on. He's worked his bum off. In the off season, Flanagan's a fan, and Flanagan was on the fence when he went to the club, and now he's on board. They've re-signed him, and I think, and I could be wrong, but I think he's only played what 51, 52 NRL games. So, you know, I, I reckon fans can wait, wait till he plays a hundred plus. I'm a big believer in that for for all starting fullbacks and halves in particular. You give him a hundred games in the NRL, then you pass. Mate, uh, you know, you know. 
moving on to this game. I thought it was one of the, I thought it was a good game. I really enjoyed it. I tell you what, I don't get starstruck with players much. You know, like I just see them as normal people. But on the weekend, we got a photo with Fish and uh, Leo Thompson together, and I was sort of. I wouldn't say starstruck, but I was a little <laughs> lost for words for a minute or two, wasn't I? Like, I was, you know, talking to Fish, and we give him a shirt that we made for him, and uh, Leo come over as usual. Like, nothing surprising there with that bloke, he's a legend. And he walked away, I said goodbye, and then he walked a little bit further, and he'd give his jersey to a kid, and I thought I was going to ask him for that, but I just couldn't get the words out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, mate, absolute legend, and um, yeah, it was a... Good game, but uh, the outcome could have been a little bit better. Newcastle 18, Panthers 26, but... I felt Dylan Edwards was a bit flat. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I thought so too. Um, Brian Tuttle, not, no surprise there. Um, played some good footy, but, mate, uh, we've got a bit of a headache when Ponga <laughs> comes back, don't we? Like, where do we put Fletcher Sharp? Yeah. A headache, I suppose, but um, you a know, good you headache. don't not play Ferrari. You know, Fletcher Fletcher Sharp's a good project player, uh, but he'll go back to New South Wales Cup. There's talk they might try him in the six jersey at some stage in Cup. I, I don't know if that'll be the case or not. I know obviously Davy Armstrong they, they tried on the wing on the weekend, uh, but but Cohen will come straight back in when he's mm. ready. Uh, be interesting to see if they stick with Jack Cogger. Um, Cogs is a is a lovely fella, but. I know the argument between you know not giving Will Price a go at the moment is is defence. Are we getting much better defence in that position at the moment with the current person in the jersey? I'd argue we're not. Um, and I know he's carrying an ankle niggle as well. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see who's wearing that number six in uh, mm. in two weeks after the bye. But no, I think I think look, you look at the past two weeks for Newcastle. I thought they they. Uh, put in a good shift against Melbourne. A couple of defensive lapses there. And again, it was probably that moment with the Lindsay Smith try right before half time that, that lost Newcastle. That one, if you had to pick a moment. But you can't knock their uh, commitment to the second half. Uh, put Jackson Hastings had a, had a really good game for him. I thought he kicked well. I think it's the best I've seen him kick this year. Uh, and, and to see Bradman Best on the field uh, again was, was, yeah, a real delight. I'll tell you what, about talking to Will Price. He played exceptionally well in Cup last week. He was, he was kicking goals all over the park. Mm. He was just playing some really good footy. And we spoke to him after the game and said, mate, I'd love to see him first grade too. And he goes, oh, I, me too. I can't wait. Like he, The kid is genuinely excited to get there. Mm. And, um, yeah, I mean, if the eight for Mortal, probably the best player to play the game, you know, Reckons give him a go. Well, do you listen to the, the best player? Well, he can certainly attack, but maybe when we go to the next game, we can watch his defence and mm. see what he's what he looked closely at that. Yeah, true. But uh, crazy lady come away with the win. Um, and I mean, and that's if we can put it to a champion side like Penrith, um, like that, and lose by that, and we can perform like that every week. I mean, I, I'd walk away happy because um, the effort was there. And I mean, let's be honest. They are still the team to beat. And, you know, they're only going to get better with um, Nathan coming back. Um, I still think there was a few performances on Penrith that were below par as well. So once they all start firing, they're going to be hard to beat. Again. Um, Scotty Thornton was a bit quiet. Dylan Edwards is still towards the end. Dylan, you know, second half he picked back up, but a bit of a slow start for Dylan. Yeah, he had a try, um, had a try saver at the end too on Gagai, wasn't it? Yeah. And any gay guys great to say mm. talking to him and you don't know what to say, but it was pretty pretty good. Um mate, Knight, where do we go from there? Oh, I think and I and I hate using the term, but uh, I reckon if you just say they're gonna play finals footy this year, they must beat Parramatta after the bye. Uh, I think it's a must win game for them. I really do. I, I think it's an even matchup. We don't have a great recent record against Parramatta, uh, but they've just got to find a way to win that game, which is why I th it is so fascinating to see what they do at 5 8 next week. I, um, Fletcher Sharp will obviously keep the, the fullback spot. Uh, you're starting to get some real value out of your Leo Thompson's. Uh, mm. Dylan Lucas was outstanding again. Frizz mm. is coming back to full fitness. Uh, the two questions I probably have are 5 8 and 
as much as I love the bloke, I don't know how many minutes Jaden Braley should be playing at the moment over Phoenix Crossland. Mm, true, good point. Mate, Dale, they have to beat the Eels, otherwise I won't be in that week, put it that way. Um, <laughs> I'll take the week off. <laughs> I won't rip you too much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate, uh, thanks for coming on again, mate. We really appreciate it. Um, love all your input. Um, and catch you next week and uh, a little bit of a shorter week this week. Mm. Uh, no yeah, nights. yeah, just got to get through, and, and I hate the wait to Origin too. I, I'm nervous about this. I'm nervous but quietly confident. So yeah, hopefully we get it so, done next Wednesday. Uh, we'll square it up. Uh, you taking the Blues? <laughs> yeah, I, I I think they will win at the MCG, and I think Latrell will be man of the match. I really do. Ooh, you heard it here first. Mm. All right, guys. Uh, Elliot, thanks again, champion, and we'll catch you next week. Thank you, guys. See you. No yeah, take Thank- care. All right, guys, we'll take another short break and be back shortly. All right, guys, welcome back, and it's time for What Caught My Eye. Ow, my eye! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> And, uh, while you're down there, guys, on a roll, you might uh, start off. Keep it going. What caught my eye? Someone, in brackets, I won't mention any names, <clears throat> <Smit up. laughs> was offered a chance to ride on a car out the front of mcdonald jones on sunday before the game so he took the opportunity for a cheeky stab at the crazy lady by writing crazy lady to lose oh oh Oh, sorry i meant the right snooze yeah Uh, how'd that work out for you yeah but it's all gotta go to the op shop what did i (laughs) what did i say you and a few others were gloating something severely, and I said the ones that gloat the loudest will end up losing. But it's all in good fun, like. Yeah, no, like, no, it's all in good fun after the fact. No, but do I like? <laughs> I'm not a sore loser, or if we happen to win, I don't run. No, nah, but That's, neither do I. No, nah. I haven't really said much at all. <laughs> you were getting cranky during the game, though. <laughs> I wasn't. Was no, couple- I was getting cranky at the night supporters because oh. they were. Yeah. I've never realised how much they boo at nothing. Certain, certain what about what about what I was talking? You go shut. Up. No, no, I said zip it, Corey, because you were supporting the Knights. You weren't on the fence. No, I was supporting the Knights. Well, we're still a talking bit. about the team. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I like both teams, but I, I was. Oh, I bet. He likes both teams. I was. I did. I was supporting the Knights, just a fraction. Mm, yeah, because um, you were yelling it. I don't like oh, zipping. I see. Like, it's good little. Man, well, we should have had the camera. I oh, took the camera. We should. We shouldn't need to set it up and just record. Me, God. Oh, she's waving a flag, and I get my little one up and just over the top of it. I pulled like, it off at one stage. You look like Trent the Flight you were there. Yeah, did I? But yeah, no, my flag broke. But at the start, <laughs> went limp. At the start, Tim, the security guard, he said to you, "What do you think the score will be?" He told he's. Oh, he was he, pretty close, wasn't he? He's a night supporter. Yeah, but he had the Knights winning, and um, I think I said twenty-eight six. 28 16 or 28 18. Mm. Mm. So I was too off. close. And he said, What do I need today? I said, A stray jacket. No, but the knights <laughs> the knights were leading at one point. No, they were coming back. Mm. And I could see him peering around the corner looking at me. <laughs> and I got that one of those tries right too. I said to uh, your mum, Bradman Bess will be the I next. I said, You'll be the next to score. And yeah. you did. Was that when Porsche said those little words to you? No, no. It was when Fletcher Sharp, he got over the mm. line first. Mm. And she looked up at me and she goes, are you okay, Mum? <laughs> I went, why? She goes, because you look like you're about to cry. And I, I wasn't. I think I was frozen. There was no, probably she icicles. Wasn't. There was oh, just oh. tears flowing down. <laughs> that was going to be my call by eye, but thank you very much, Scott. Oh. <laughs> no, but I was worried. I was worried. I'm thinking, oh, here we go. Penrith haven't turned up. But Ed showed the champions on there where they turned it around. Um, but I love that kind of thing. And there's, you know, I'll honour my bet. I'll go easy on you. Can you wear it in the bus? No. Yeah, so, that's an idea. No. no. no Where no, were no, you no. when we made the bet? We should have. Yeah. I was here. Yeah, but why didn't you say that? We could have made him wear it to the next game. You could have. What to the next you home? What, what, what to the home game? Guess what? what? You didn't. You what, didn't. He has to wear it. Yeah. He has <laughs> to wear it in the bus on the way <laughs> up down to Penrith. Okay. We're going to make a bet for the next game then. I'll make a bet with Gary for the Earls too. Who You've got to do the upshot challenge. If I've already got to do one with Carlotti yet. Yeah, true. He <laughs> likes wearing dresses. He don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me or him? 
It's just me heels, me ankles can't uh, walk in heels. We're flat. It'll be right. Yeah, no, I can't walk in heels. Your shoulders rub on your bra strap. And <laughs> 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 yeah, no, we will. And I want to be back, but they'll be round too. So mm. anyway, back to where we were. Next, next. I've got three because I can. Three eyes. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hi, hi. My first one was out the front of the stadium on Sunday. They had the baby animals. Mm. And um, Portia and I went over to them, and there was two little tiny baby pigs fighting. They just looked so <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, you know we're on air, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, my second one is a player for the Sharks Reserve grade team has been told to have his tattoos covered up or not play. Looking at said tattoos, I can understand why. Mm, yeah, that's a going a bit far. I've like, brought... seen the uh, picture in the paper, but that was boxed out. Mm. I don't know what name and, like. name and with dress withheld. Mm. I'm, a, I'm broad minded, but yeah, that's a bit. When we go off here, you'll have to tell me what he's got on it. What Cuts. do you get on your bin when um, blowflies have been around? Yeah. Keep that going. rhymes with that. Okay. And it's yep. got a name. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, and my last one was Nico Hines' conversion on full time against the Dolphins Friday night. Not, uh, it was to even up the scores and take into Golden Point. He missed it so bad. Like he had a bet on the Dolphins winning or something. It was pretty ordinary. And it, that. Just kicked away his origin jersey. Did I tell you when I was young, I bare feet and a leather ball, and I kicked it out of the ground and got it over the dot? How many times? Oh, not a couple of times. No, how many times you told us? Oh, a couple of times. <laughs> but he's Nick O'Hine, a professional, getting big dollars, practice, mm. off a tee, and kicked like that. Mm. I don't go that far from the holidays. <laughs> True. Actually, that's what I've got something that actually caught my eye. I'll, I'll, when well, I'll Gary on hold it. No, no, no. <laughs> In the Caribbean. Yeah. No. I love the banner that we all have between us. And, you know, even at the game, we mm. we make a good day of it with all of us. And <laughs> when I retire from Saturday work, I'll be able to come with you. Well, the door will always be open for you. And that's what I say. I get there. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? That's what I say. What the door will be always open. open. Gary. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Anyway, your turn. Okay. So the first one. Oh, hang on. You got three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was three. three. Oh, wasn't it? First one, footy related. <clears throat> Hammers, uh, Hammers try on Thursday night. Was yeah, it was good. It was a cracker. Second one was, just come to lose, it was the lady that won the chance to kick for car. Oh, oh, the kick Paul for car. Kick for the kick. Yeah. And kick, car. kick to win the car. What? load of horse. 40 metres out as if she was going on to... On the sideline. Well, it wasn't on the oh, sideline. It was 10 in. 10 in. Yeah, how the hell was she ever going to kick that? Mm, well, yeah. and, and the worst thing is, not did they give her a prize afterwards? Hell yeah. no. Yeah, no. Nah, disgrace. Was... Not to discriminate that women can't kick or anything. But I, I wouldn't can't. be able to kick, but, but I wouldn't be able to kick exactly from 40. Name a first grade footballer that could probably get it. Well, I, know I did some. out of the ground. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Yeah, but I know some would. But, but not these, these, at their lines. these guys are not warmed up at all. They've got no footy boots on. Probably got jeans on. Yeah. They no practice. And get to kick from 40 yeah. short. They could have given it from at least 10 metres out. No, because and they didn't just, want to really give the car away. Well, exactly. it's just, just publicity stuff. Just yeah. dead set rubbish. They've just embarrassed her in front of a stadium for right. people. That's right. 27 and a half hours. Poor if, Olav, whatever her name was. If they come up like with $500 voucher made, or something, it would have been okay. To be honest, it made her look like a, a, a laughing stock, so uh. to speak. Because she keeps look, give it to her 20 metres out. Uh. There's still the or 20. Further, yeah. Right. Still, the odds of that happening is probably mm. not real high. Right. You know, I thought it was a bit of a. Can we get her on next time, next week? I don't even know who it was, but the thing was, yeah, yeah. we'll do a. What was it? Her, um, did, oh, she, did she get off the ground? Yeah. Went five metres. Yeah, five so or ten metres, it metres. did, yeah. It yeah, was. Yeah, it's, yeah, even, it's, oh, sorry for it. Away. Even in front, at the 20 metres, she wouldn't have got it. 30, yeah, 30. but at least give it a closer chance. Like, 40 metres is long rubbish. Way. Even if they said, okay, 30 metres, because we don't really want to give the car away, 30 metres right front still hard. Mm. But you're going to have a... But it's going to look a little bit better. If it, anyway. if it was a 
publicity stunt and whatnot at the end of a give a five hundred dollar voucher or something. Mm. It, a signed night's jersey. Mm. Yeah, something. Yeah, just something just to participate. She won the keys. Dude, I won a two and a half thousand dollar washing machine and dryer. She won and stroll that's up right. Paddy. She won the chance to kick. <laughs> and then it and, and got yeah. Uh, the wash machine needs to be fixed now. Oh yeah. It's like the team. Yeah. <laughs> you hear of that, McDonald Jones and a new one. Doing up of a challenge, anyway, way. That that'll do, mate. Mm, it was pretty ordinary. Anyway, my turn. Yes. yes. Love got three as well. No. Well, actually, I got four, but three will do. Uh, on Sundays, the, Sunday, the Mark Hughes Foundation, the Walkers, entered the field, <coughs> and just before the um, before the game was on, and there was a drag queen out there. No, it wasn't Corey. Um, <laughs> I wish he was. In an amazing red and blue outfit. Mm. Oh, yeah. Really stood wasn't. out. She done really well. Must have been cold, though. She done really well, eh? Um, done a good job. But of all people for Corey to get a photo of the whole day, you know, like it's Fisher Harris's, uh, Blair Thompson, Thompson, all these. All, all the names. Who did Corey go to? The, the drag, drag queen. <laughs> yeah, but that outfit was awesome. It was. Well, thanks, Corey. Yeah, oh, look, I went. Was it a banana in your pocket or at the time? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She was lovely. It was, a, it, was, it was a Mars bar. Uh, and she done a good job. But you see what I mean? He did. He did a good job. Um, Had an Adam's apple. <laughs> Does look, that have made apples? <laughs> look, she looked more like a woman than I do. Anyway, she did a good job. She, 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 she did a great job and I thought, you know what? Oh, you got pretty close. Well, yeah. I did. Got his, oh. Were they real boobs or like? Well, he got, he got a number. I had my hand, put hand around the shoulder. The arm around the shoulder. I was wondering, you know. You should have tripped over and accidentally. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Motorbone. <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> but I had some decent pecs. <laughs> Is decent that what you pecker? call <laughs> Get your mind out of the gut. Hey, I'm moving on. Um... So I was sort of not here in a way. Zach Lomas being a butt sniffer on the weekend. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you wish it was your butt. <laughs> and, I don't know if it was true. Did you see? Uh, Whose butt was it? Um, don't well, know. Obviously, Someone. we'll show that uh, on the screen. Whoever's there. walking around with a big smile in their face. It was Anthony Wapmo. <laughs> no, but he, he's, he's nose, his face was full on right. Right up the crack and well, spoil. He has got a, he has got a decent hooter on him. It was right there. Well, I wonder if he walked around and he could just smell poo all afternoon. <laughs> no wonder he's not watching the game. Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch it. Remember? <laughs> I haven't watched the replay. He only scored one try and kicked one goal. Tries. <laughs> <laughs> he, got he only kicked. The, he only scored one try and kicked one goal. Oh, there you go. That's right. I'm sensing a the theme eye. with what caught his eye. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling us? Your influence. Oh. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, it was hilarious. I mean, it's funny. Yeah, it's... Diana. And um, <laughs> shut up, Kelly. <laughs> uh, my third one also, this is more of a serious one, but I like I like those things. And to be honest, I'm going to try and look for the funny things that caught my eye for, like, you know, stuff you may have missed kind of thing. Mm. Um, but my third one was Mitch Barnett not getting in the actual run on side or bench spot. And Bradman Bess as well for Origin. So, they were a bit of a, uh, a brain yeah. scratcher for me and uh, a bit disappointing. But anyway, night of the round time. Night of the round. I think there's going to be unanimous res- uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Kylie. Cool. Little Bess. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, without a doubt, he literally picked the team up. He's mm. very dangerous with the ball, and I, mm. I mean, I hated when the Knights had the ball any time, but when Bradman had it, I was sweating. Mm. I want to make you sweat. In that song? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll go but best as well, <laughs> but I'm also going to give a little mention to Fletcher Sharp. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Best of Sharp. Bradman best. That guy is a beast. Ooh. And drum roll, please. Bradman Best. 
No surprise. And special mention, we'll go to Leo Thompson. I honestly think Leo's playing some really good football and a lot of stuff's going unnoticed with... Um, He's certainly got a good little pass happening, in you know, the short little pass, yeah. Yeah, yeah and He's, I honestly think he's... Um, like the night saying today, you know, with the opening negotiations, we'll stop the opening negotiations and put it on the freaking table. That's right. Um, and Leo's brother will be here next year. Mm. Be good, uh, good double. Mm. Anyway, uh, player in the round, Gaz. Steve Crichton, two tries, one try assist, three tackle breaks, and 148 metres gained. And I'll throw another thing in there too his leadership. Mm hmm. Yes, has gone to a new level. New level since uh, joining the dogs, Kylie. Um, I've got <laughs> Hamasau Tabuai Fadal. He can run. He had a hundred meter solo try, two hundred fifty one meters gain, and ten tackle breaks. Mm -hmm. Was a good try. Very good. Try. Went through five, six players. Uh, they all wanted to feel what his jersey felt like. Yeah, that's good. Keep going. He had spiders on him. <laughs> mm, spiders, like he must have got them off. Um, to all. A little tall. I actually went daily long neck Jerry Evans for his instrumental play, the way he played against the Dragons. Uh, single handedly won the game for him. He's playing good football. And Manly were down to, what, 13? Oh, yeah, they lost them all. Two or three blokes. And that second half, he was the catalyst into yeah, beating us. Well, mine was Defano. You took a Manu. That's what I was about to say. Um, well played. You say it now. I can't now. She put me on the queue, but I said it last a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Stefano. I was saying it today. I was Gwen saying Ste it. Gwen Stefano. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 31 tackles for, uh, with no missed tackles, mm. which was a real standout. That's a big one. Uh, seven tackle breaks, three offloads, and 206 metres gain. But it, I've never done this before, but I'm going to give a special mention in my player of the round. Mm. And that's going to be to Brian Tuttle. Once again, just played solid in the meters, etc. I honestly think that, like, when the going gets tough, is the X factor with Penrith as well. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, you know, they say you need size on wingers, but I'm telling you what, I'd take him at Newcastle and Marjo on the other. That'd do, mate. Mm. You know, I, I think they're the two most exciting wingers in the game, I think. I'd just say if he gets a bit more ball than that in the origin. He don't, yeah. didn't do mm -hmm. much at all. And one of the one. funny might have to go looking league. for it. I would love to, you know, I'm going to try as hard as we can too to get him on one night because imagine sitting here talking Brian Tuttle for half an hour. I reckon you've been snitches. <laughs> He's an absolute funny guy. I reckon we wouldn't get a word in. <laughs> you may have got it. No, I'd be hiding under the desk. I'd be all starstruck. <laughs> I was a little bit with, um, oh, I wouldn't say starstruck, but I sort of, it just went like that so quickly when Fish and um, Leo to go and get that photo with us, and it was awesome photo. So how was your so how was your pouch then? <laughs> but that was like two years ago when you got Fish, Moses, Leota, and Viliami Kickout all to come over, and I was like, oh, now what do I do? <laughs> no, but <laughs> 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 the way I look at this, okay. Um, Fish is the master. And Leo's the apprentice. Mm. They had the master and the apprentice in one fight. Like, mm. They're just two icons of the game that I really enjoy watching. And mm. Yeah, it was gold. And, mm. um, they had a really nice lengthy chat after the game, didn't they? They were... Yeah. They Well, you know, I still credit Fish for Leo's form for this year mm. as well. Mm. Um, Take him under he's his the, He's the reason why Leo has improved, the way he is. improved mm. and improved. Anyway... Time for some humour. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the introduction, no, Harry. No, no, no. I was just seeing if anyone else had anything to add first. No. Well, no. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, time for a bit of humour this week. It's time for the crazy ladies' jokes of the week. I haven't had a chance to find any really, really funny ones. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. So... An old farmer went to town to see a movie. The ticket agent asked, Sir, what's that on your shoulder? The old farmer said, That's my pet rooster, Chucky. Wherever I go, Chucky goes. I'm sorry, sir, said the ticket agent. We don't allow animals in the theatre. The old farmer went around the corner and stuffed the bird down his pants. 
He returned to the booth, bought a ticket and entered the theatre. He sat down next to two old widows named Mildred and Marge. The movie started and the rooster began to squirm. The old farmer unzipped his pants so Chucky could stick his head out and watch the movie. Marge, whispered Mildred. What? said Marge. I think the guy next to me is a pervert, said Mildred. What makes you think that? asked Marge. He unzipped his pants and he has his thing out, whispered Mildred. Well, don't worry about it, said Marge. At our age, we've seen them all. I know, said Mildred, but this one's eating my popcorn. (laughs) 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 Good cow, George. George and Mildred. (laughs) Yeah, true. (laughs) Um, I haven't proofread this one, so I apologise if it's rude. (laughs) A trucker who has been out on the road for two months stops at a brothel outside Atlanta. He walks straight up to the madam, drops down $500 and says... I want your ugliest woman and a grilled cheese sandwich. The madam is astonished. But, sir, for that kind of money, you could have one of my prettiest ladies and a three-course meal. The trucker replies, listen, darling, I'm not horny, I'm just homesick. (laughs) I've heard that one before, it's a beauty. (laughs) (laughs) Do you like grilled cheese sandwiches? (laughs) Penny, I'm not married to the ugliest woman now, am I? <laughs> One more? Sure. You could be married to Carlotta. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, there was someone else that you probably could be married to. Next. Gary. <laughs> no. Corey. Next. <laughs> before, before it goes any further. Yeah. <laughs> Smile if you want. <laughs> A young young man with his pants hanging half off his ass, two gold front teeth and a half-inch thick gold chain around his neck, walked into the local welfare office to pick up his cheque. He marched up to the counter and said, Hi, you know, I just hate drawing welfare. I'd really rather have a job. I don't like taking advantage of the system, getting something for nothing. The social worker behind the counter said, Your timing is excellent. We just got a job opening from a very wealthy old man who wants a chauffeur and bodyguard for his beautiful daughter. He'll have to drive around in his 2018 Mercedes-Benz CL and he will supply all of your clothes. Because of the long hours, meals will be provided. You'll also be expected to escort the daughter on her overseas holiday trips. This is rather awkward, but you will also have to satisfy her sexual urges as the daughter is in her 20s and has a strong sex drive. The guy, wired-eyed, said, You're bullshitting me. The social worker said, Yeah, well, you started it. That's one. Oh, That was good. I had a good one over here. Fuel. Mm. You want to say that one? No, you can. No, we'll use it for next week now. Okay. Yeah. Next week we'll have it on. But, uh, is that you for this week? Yep. Uh, who's the band? Who's got? A buy. A buy, that's right. And then the Cowboys. What are you looking at me for again? I'm either gay or I'm bi. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's got a man crap. No. I was wondering who the dragons had. They got a bi too. Oh. Eels? Got no idea. Yeah, no, but what about the eels? <laughs> <laughs> They're not bi, no. Anyway, on that note, I think it's bye bye for Kylie's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thank thanks. you once again, Kylie. Yeah, thanks for yeah. on. And uh, thanks for a lovely weekend last weekend. And. Um, yeah. Not rubbing it in. There's not many left for the uh, crazy bus trip, eh, is it? Yeah, no, it's good. Excuse me, uh, only how many? Four, six seats? Yeah, something like that. See, I miss out again. Well, there's six seats. You don't take up six. <laughs> <laughs> Probably working, poor bugger. Yeah. It's again. a Sunday. It's a Sunday game. Tickets go on sale this Thursday. So we'll grab our tickets and, uh, yeah, I have it on good authority that we will have around... 30 Penrith Panther shirts give away that day down there. Get down there. Mm-hmm. So, more details later. But um, before you go, I think we've got a few uh, photo winners too. Is that correct? Yes, I believe Corey's got them. Yes. <clears throat> so. Uh, Can't read your own. No, name. Jessica K. <laughs> and Michelle Price. So, Jessica wins the. One for the fridge, is that correct? That's right, Jessica and Michelle gets the prize pack as well. 
was into the running for the prize pack. Is that correct? I believe so. So, um, yeah. So that's awesome. next time, next or next week or next home game, send your entries in. Mm. And, so uh, that first one, Jessica, is that the one with Mitch? Uh, has brain cancer yes, yes. mitch has brain cancer mm. and was out there benny for brain cancer round yeah supporting the course so i thought that was a yeah a really good mm. good yep. effort for him. Man. yeah um so that's and michelle to uh happy engagement mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe they could do it on the show maybe <laughs> <laughs> wish them a, a lifetime of I, love and happiness ha- happiness seriously you find that have it. a go at this i said to kyle that we could bring you over mm-hmm and what better idea would have been, right, to do it at McDonald Jones Stadium? When the Knights win a grand final, okay. I was sick of going to New they Zealand. Did last year. <laughs> men. The Knights, men. I was thinking when you go to New Zealand next year, why are you ziplining? You'd probably die on that. Anyway, <laughs> now. Well, at least you'll die for her. They will up at stairs, higher at the mm-hmm. function room. Oh, yeah. Knights and Penrith play. We have it before. Watch the game, then have a party after. Yeah, and then fish, and then and then and then and then all the Penrith players and Knights players come in. They wouldn't. Yes, they would. <laughs> Even ex players as well. They don't go to the circus. Ding 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 ding. Yeah. Fisher Harris, would you like to come out? He won't be a Penrith next year. I'm just saying, all the ex players. Yeah. That would have been a great idea. I thought. Even Gary would have the night off. You know what a great idea is? Me going to bed. All right. On that note, I think it's crazy ladies leaving us. So uh, catch you next week. Bye. Night, Carly. All right, guys. We'll be uh, back after the short messaging. All right, guys, and it's time for the usual Teamless Tuesday, but there is none. No. For this week, so... All we'll our teams have got buys. Hmm. You know about that? Hmm. I think... There's only a couple of games. I'm not sure about Parramatta, but... Barrow's got a. Yeah, I know what you saw. I just, you know, I just. I was just looking at Tarrant. Um, oh, right. mate, over here. Uh, Warren. <laughs> I'm still listening to you. Who <laughs> bugs is it? me ears warm. <laughs> just remind me of Warren from. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so very. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> Sorry, Warren. <laughs> 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 Laugh at my expense. Oh, I care. Yeah. oh, <laughs> oh that's good. No, all jokes I like aside, that. like I'm just, you know, I know we're on here, we can't talk too much jibber, but you have a bad day at work or a bad day, whatever. I have it every day. You but you come here and you just laugh and laugh, <laughs> and you forget a bit half your issues, eh? Mm. Do you find that Warren? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> the only person that chases a drag queen around the football field to get a photo. <laughs> oh, mate, I, I lined it up. I'll tell you, I mean, it was a, you know. You haven't seen someone so excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here. Uh, when, when I had to knock, knock, knock on wood. When he said I'm getting a photo of a drag queen, I thought Lomax or someone was in the ground. <laughs> well, no, that was last year I got a photo of Lomax. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's not it. Anyway, moving on. But we're getting into a preview for this week. And uh, the Dolphins, Friday night up against the Melbourne Storm, uh, 8 p.m. So, mm, uh, good to see Tavita Pengo Jr. Mm. getting his first shot in the Dolphins, which I think you'll find will end up at South next year. Yeah. He will. Um, no major ch- changes there, just... Yeah, to be the pen guy. Um, Nelson of Sofa Solomona, uh, still on the bench. Oh. Can't force his way into a starting side. Or they just bring him off when everyone gets tired and just runs yeah. over him. I thought he might have been, end up getting back in instead of Kama Kamika. Um, Kama 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 Kamika. Yeah, but Josh King playing some awesome football. Mm. Um, in a way, I was sort of. Yeah, fella longer going to the wing. I know Pappenhausen's good, but oh, this young fella deserves his spot. I know he's still on the wing, but wow. you know, I just I'm just a believer of if you're out for a long pe- period stretch of time, you should have to force your way back mm. in. Good side by the very um, good side the Dolphins, even like with 
Fado going and mm. Joe Fuller coming in. Like it's yes, Herbie Farmer yeah. playing some awesome footy. But this one's going to be a hard one to be honest. Um, I know it's up there in Queensland. I'm going to take Storm. Yes, Dolphins. I'm going to say the yeah, Dolphins. Fins up. Mm, no, I won't say fins up. Um. Yeah, no, I'm going to take Storm. Eh? They, to be honest, that looks like a pretty red hot side. So is a kid. So are the Dolphins. Yeah, it does. It does. My only issue, and I'm still, <sighs> I'm just not convinced with Cody Nicarima. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, this is gonna be some awesome matchups. Like the fullbacks with Paps. Mm. Um Will Warbrick's back in. Yeah, Warbrick's a machine. Right. The Hookers, um the Marshall King. Max Plash is a, a mm. you know. Mm. So yeah, I'll take Storm. I like Wishart. Yeah. Just God he looks like he's dead, eh? No DNA uh, test needed there. <laughs> Another one, St. George let go in the juniors. That was a dis- disappointing, but he had, mm. you know, can't keep them all, I suppose. But No, that's right. Anyway, moving on to the Titans and the Storm goes. Um, Titans and Storm. Sorry, Titans and, and Warriors. the Warriors. You got the, uh, the clicker there, mate? The clicker is... And... Uh, yeah. Good side there. Only real uh, loss for the, the Warriors is uh, no Mitch Barnett. Yeah. Um, uh, and Catewell. And Catewell. Plus, um, what's his name? Um, Dallin. 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 Yes. Yeah. Many, Hello. Yeah. Hello. Is it me or No. no. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> can you see an upset here? Warriors. Lee. No. Warriors? Titans can't play that badly. No, they can't, but uh, I but still think the Warriors will win this mm-hmm. one. Good matchup. Karen Forum and Sean Johnson. Mm. You did, do you know who I really like out of that? I <laughs> always have. I think he, he went off out of you. Um, Chanel Harris DeVita. Mm. I rate him. Mm. You know? I would be. I know it would be hard to get him away from the Warriors, but if I was a team looking for a halfback, mm. I wouldn't. You know, I'd be. Uh, well, there you go. If the Knights decide that our halves are not a, a combination <laughs> we're after, Harris, Devita, and Gamble. Mm. Different. I like him. I think he's great. Mm. Obviously, I like Gamble too. But. You love Gamble. Do not like him. You love him. Nah, he's a legend. A legend. And. Um, He's up there with uh, him and Leo Thompson, uh, you know, up there with me two, f- you know, favourites of all times on the night. So mm. that's a big call. Mm. Oh, up yeah. there with uh, totally. Chief Harrigan and Siani Metalia. Mm. So um, that's going to be cool. Yeah. <coughs> but. Uh, Warriors for me. I'm going to take Titans. <coughs> Warriors. And I'm going to regret it and I'll probably change it before then, but at the moment yeah, I'll take Titans. You're locked in. Eddie. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> what do you call me, Carl? Well, I said lock it in, Eddie. Oh, you're looking at Carl Lola over here. Yeah. Fair enough. Lola. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> next one, goes. Mine's all back to front here. I'm just going by... Uh... No, click it, man. Oh, I'm not used to this click a bit. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it on paper. Um, the Roosters and Bulldogs. Um, it's going to be a game. Yeah, it could be, to be honest. Um, except only I would have liked to have seen um, the Bulldogs, Crichton and uh, and Coed. Sorry, excuse me. Kurt Mann's still out for another week, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, that would have been a big end too. Mm. Too much firepower for me here for the Roosters. Yeah, I think the Roosters will take this comfortably. Yep. Um, Dom Young will want to atone for the uh, send-off against this mob. Not long ago. And you'll see how much Crichton really offers this team mm, mm. with him not being there. And uh, Burton's still there, but, yeah, I think Crichton will be a big loss. Kurt Mann will be a big loss. Um, rest is be too good. Mm. Good um, to see Josh Curran back in. He hit the deck hard there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he did. Mm. Very good. Um, yeah, I would take the rest of guys. Me, I'm going for the Roosters. Carl Arnold says 
the Roosters. There we go against a. Anyway, um, <laughs> guys, next one. Look at this. I'm on the ball. Mm. No, you almost went left. A bit like you. <laughs> on the ball. He's on the fence. He Swipe left. <laughs> Swipe right left. Ah, uh, the rabbits against the bin chickens. I'm going to take this one because no Latrell, no Cherry Evans, no mm. Chimovich. How good is Alex Johnson going? Uh, he's, well, he's, what, second now, 190 tries. So. And they were going to get rid of him. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, he's, that's been his club all his life. I see it? number 17 um, in relation to Matt. Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, uh, Liam LeBlanc. Mm. T is really impressed me, to be honest. Um, <laughs> number one, Manly. Oh, Upawada. Yeah, he's, yeah yep. he, he killed us last mm-hmm. week for more reports. Playing really uh, good footy. So, uh, yeah. Good on you. Aaron Shoup there playing for Manly. I think he makes his debut. I haven't seen him play there Manly yet from the Titans. He's mid-season summer transfer. Oh, uh, I bet you Hopper's uh, proud. Big proud moment. Mm. Number one for him. Mm. So good on you, champion, mm. if you're watching again. Um, give him another call. Yeah. See if he to come on again. To, to be honest, though, mate, I, I really enjoy talking to him. A mm. lot of, uh, mm. yeah. But... Um, this is a chance, really, for a couple of players to really stand up and show what they're made of. Luke Brooks. Mm. Yep. Um, take it by the scruff of the neck. Yeah. And also, Cody Walker, Jack White, and chance to go, hey, come on. But I think I'm going to have to take South. Um, I think the loss of um, Drojevic and... Um, Evans. Yeah, Cherry Evans is just going to be too big. Especially um, when they've got like Carl Lawton in seven, who I don't think is a mm. normal half. From he could, I could be wrong. I, I, I mean, I get I get they're losing Latrell and uh, Murray Calamari, but um, Calamari <laughs> that's his brother. I like that. Uh, um, but I just honestly don't think. Um, Murray's going to be that big of a loss no. for this game. Yeah. South for me. So, yeah. South for me, just in the halves, and more experienced. Yep. I'll go with South. Bin chickens. Bin chickens. Nice. All right, moving on. Um, just to be different. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> moving on. Oh, yes. Um, I'm here. I'm here. West Tigers up against the Raiders. Hmm. This one's going to be a toss of the coin, to be honest. Um, it's at Tiger Town, back at uh, Campbelltown Sports. So that's going to be the, probably the big thing for me. Although the Raiders are a team that can turn it on when they want to. Mm. Uh, I mean, any team with Rapana, Kotrick, um, Sebastian Chris, Savage, Ethan Strange, um, Papaliti, Danny Levi, Joseph Tarbany, Hudson Young. That's a good side, just in itself. It's a pretty fair side, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, probably the game of the week. Mm, could be. I mean, their back, their their bench is pretty good too. But then you look at the the Tigers. Um, you know, you got Buller, Naden, Olam, Staines, mm. Lucky Galvin, Aiden Caesar, Stefano. I like the um, Happy Corsero is going to be a big one. I like the the Fanu brothers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, true. Okay. Olam hasn't been as, to me, hasn't been as good as what he was when he was with the Storm. You've got to look at the team around him. Playing around him. Mm. Mm. Um, I just had a look at the reserves of the Raiders. Albert Hopawade. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Another one. Yep. Uh, had a cooking accident. <coughs> Burned himself. He did. Yeah. But all reports, he's, he's back in the world. But obviously, um, David Clemmer's got to be back soon. He would be far off. We are keeping you up. Mm. It's a shame. Usually, it's a lot of keeping you up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know who I'm going to take this one. To be honest, I'm still on the fence. Choose my words a bit better. I'm still divided down the middle who I'm going to take. <laughs> um, divided? I don't know. To be it honest. Is. I'm going Canberra. In mm. a tight one. Yeah, I'll take Canberra by four. Tight ones here. Um, so that's I'll pretty much like ten. Like ten. So that's only five games this week. Yep. God, I hate. Do you ever hate this? Should we go back to standalone weekends? 
Yeah. Yep. I think they discussed it. Didn't we discuss this mm. last week? I know. I just hate the five team. I feel robbed. Mm. So maybe this is where the girls need to be coming in. Won't be far off. Maybe the girls should have started mm. at yeah. the NRLW. Should have started at the bye weekend. So we include some of that. So we get mm. our footy fix. Yeah. We all love our footy. I think the day they're trying to get obviously their conjunction with the grand final for the girls. But yeah, it will play some extra rounds. Yeah. Well, get some more teams for them. Yeah. Well, even you know, play some extra rounds. Give them some more money. Mm. Oh, Rather than thing. giving six hundred million to another country yeah. for a stadium, yeah. Penrith Warriors should mm. be in the girls. Well, why hasn't Penrith them. got? You know, the government's not going to give Penrith the whole amount of money they needed for their new stadium, but they're going to give that to a. This doesn't make sense. It's time to go, government. Anyway, guys, we'll take a short break and be back to wrap it all up. All right, guys, welcome back, and uh, time to wrap it all up. Have a good night. Good night, guys. Uh, yeah, had a laugh, had some yeah. news, and, yeah. Yeah. some good jokes. Poking fun at each other. Carlotta. Each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Warren. Uh, so, yeah, a couple, just before we go, I'd like to say a um, big shout-out to uh, Porsche. Mm. Porsche done a great job. Yeah, thanks oh. for stepping in at late notice tonight. And... Um, yeah, we did, we're supposed to have um, five on the panel tonight, but we were, yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed again. And, um... Seemed to be short-staffed a lot. <laughs> yeah, last-minute stuff, that's the frustrating bit. Mm. Um, yeah, thanks to Kylie, doing a tireless work behind the scenes. Maybe if it wasn't for her, this wouldn't be happening. Uh, Adam. Yep. And... Thanks, and our sponsors can't do it without Can't us. do it without them. And yeah. big shout out to Chad tonight for yeah. tweaking our new equipment too mm. that we have that you can't see, but we certainly can. Finally sort of getting it together. Yeah. Well, you know, it's all new to us, guys. So um, mm. uh, people that won the competitions will be in contact with you soon, but we've more, got more coming. I reckon maybe next week or the week after we'll have another members draw. Yep. Um, yeah, and so, don't, don't forget their next home game against Parramatta, 5.30. Mm. Get out there, get some photos done. Yeah. Might be able to get a photo with Sparky. You know, I might even... I'm, we might even take the cameras next week and do some interviews. Yeah, we're going to Thursday, aren't we? Yeah, we might even go to Thursday as well. So mm. we might even do some interviews there as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, we'll get the cameras out, eh? Get the people involved and hopefully the Knights come away with two points. Mm. <coughs> it'll, be a four point, it'll be a four point game for the Knights. Two points this week, two points next week. <laughs> Don't count your chickens. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, tune in. Um, get everyone involved for you, the competition if, for the games that are on this weekend. Um, you know, I might even throw it out there. It's a buy round. It doesn't have to be an NRL game. It can be a local league game for this week. Mm. So any game, anywhere, send them all in. So uh, until next week. It's all about the league. Good night. This is the beginning, Adam. Take one. Why don't you just buy one of them real-life dolls? They're- come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Not getting tired.